Hello. That darkness buried. Oh no, it's so loud. Oh, I stood there, wondering. Where's my controller? If... Shh. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy kind of final week of October, but not technically. Technically, we're a week. Exactly a week away from Hollow's Ween. Good morning, good morning. Uh, load. <sighs> Hi, everybody. It's Hollow Week. <laughs> it's the final full Hollow Week. Yeah. Welcome in, everyone. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Oh, look, he's panting already. Uh, no, Grouse will go. Thank you so much for resubbing with Prime for six months. I hope you enjoy your gold carrot. Um, the sub goal is wrong. I will fix it. Hold on. It's not supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look like this. Actually, I think it's this. Because, uh, Broken Quest, thank you as well for resubbing for 20 months at tier two. A very strong one because of all your pargons. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you guys very much. Uh, yes, that number is correct. All right, so I have some, we have some newses this morning. Uh, let's see how it goes. There's no, um, I guess there kind of is some music. Let's just do this. Oh, never mind. There's definitely music happening here. Um, hello. Good morning. Happy Monday. Right, the whispers. We couldn't, <laughs> couldn't forget those. Uh, it's the last full week of Halloween month, also known as October. Um, it's still cold, which is nice. Uh, we have half of a DLC and then one more, so a DLC and a half um, of little nightmares to do. Um, if we hit this uh, sub goal, this week before the end of stream on Friday, uh, I will do I will do a bonus stream on Saturday and we will beat all that's left, um, no matter how long it takes. Uh, it'll be however long that is. So it could be shorter than three hours, it could be longer, we shall see. You missed a day for the point hole. Oh no, also yes, um, there are still two channel point community thingies left if you click on the little smiley bunny buck face um you can throw your points into both um co-op costumes so that rain and i will have to wear costumes on monday uh for when we play our game together and you can also throw them into a costume for octavia which we did purchase <laughs> it is here <laughs> uh so we'll see how that goes um you've got uh, you can put in a max of 2,000 points per stream that I do, so get that in. <sighs> Pine hole. Can a small dog fit through it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe also something else. Yeah, the GameCube noises are pretty good. Technically, the final week starts... Oh, tomorrow. Okay, technically, but still. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. Tear, Pargon, Pargon, Streamer, Pargon, Pargon, Kargala, Pargon. Yes. If we beat this game fast, Resident Evil could have another chance to win. Yeah, so that's something to talk about, too. I don't know how close we are to beating this game. However, um, I do have the next poll waiting and ready. Uh, I double checked everything on how long to beat this morning and so far if we beat this today um, and we start a new game either today or tomorrow um, we still have time to beat any of the games that I have on there so that's good news um, something else time is running out to vote in the poll for our next main game so exclamation mark to poll make sure you voted in it I know it's been like <laughs> you have like a whole month to do it but if you have not yet now is probably the time um, because, and I think I've finally solidified it, so I think I can say it now. Um, on 
November 1st, which I believe is going to be the Tuesday after we play the co-op stream. Because you guys destroyed all of my September sub goals, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a very special Backseat Mario Day. Um, Rain and I have hopefully figured out I'm going to be playing the original Mario for NES, which I've never played before. And I'm going to enable crowd control for it. You'll be able to use channel points and or whatever their stupid currency is. <laughs> so that's what we've decided on. It's going to be original Mario for the NES Super Mario Brothers. It's going to have crowd control. I want to make sure that if you, you don't have to pay real money, but you can if you want. Um, so I'm going to try to activate it so you can do everything with channel points as well. So if we do do a wheel today and you're like, oh no, I'm running out of points and I really want to save, you have an entire week still. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, and then you guys can literally make me do whatever you want in Mario. I've never played the original Mario other than a little bit at my cousin's house when I was a kid. I've told the story a million times. It is where I first learned to dislike Mario. <laughs> what? Ness crowd control? Let the shenanigans begin, Karkle laugh, Karkle love. Thank you, Serge. I, I hope you guys are excited for it. I'm very nervous. Uh, as most of you know, I'm not very good at Mario things. I find Mario quite slippery and difficult. <laughs> uh, but I will do my best. If you didn't hate Mario before, you're going to definitely give sure I'm going to hate it by November 2nd. I probably will, Lee. Also morning. Um, yeah, Mario has slippery little ice feet, which I am not the biggest fan of. Super Mario World I liked, but I obviously didn't 100% it. Um, so this will be my other than super mario world this might be my very first traditional mario game i've played a lot of like the rpgs now <laughs> played the paper marios i played super mario rpg i played luigi's mansion mm, i played mario kart a bit as a kid yeah yeah Hope the delay in the monitor is super low um i have no idea uh, so in order to do crowd control you have to do I also have to figure out emulator stuff, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I did it. I managed to do it when we played our special hot dog, <laughs> a link to the fast randomizer like two years ago. So hopefully I can figure it out again. Snack Octavia. I just gave her snacks, but I guess I could give her more. Uh, I'll go do that. And then we will start the video game. Uh, I'll do a little recap and then, cause I think that's all the news. Um, Mario Day Halloween co-op is going to be on Monday next week. Uh, possible possible bonus stream. That's up to you guys. <laughs> uh, and then make sure you vote in the poll. Yeah, I think that's everything. Hmm. Mario is slippery like a big bowl of pasta. I'm going to go get snacks for my silly cat.
I tried to teach her boops for a while, like boop your nose against the thing, but she doesn't quite understand. She always thinks it's a snack. <sighs> anyway, thank you very much for the snacks, Tom. I hope you enjoyed it as much as she did. I accidentally dropped one on the floor, so she got an extra one on the way over here. The only Marius you liked were 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, and Odyssey. 64 made me hurl, unfortunately. This is always an Octavia stream. Huh, honey? All right. Be gone. Those are greenies, by the way, so it's not its not like they're awful. Okay, so, hello. I'm playing more Eternal Darkness. I'm my grandpa. <laughs> It's 1952. We're Dr. Edward M. Roivas. Um, we scooted around our house. And um, we have a lot of really cool guns, which is great because I'm fighting a lot of stuff. Oh, good. We have a ton of bullets. Um, and we are currently exploring, remember the giant underground city that's under our house for inexplicable reasons? <laughs> that our like ancestor from colonial times found? Well, we found it and we're not crazy. Um, anyway, I'm currently trying to use this big like spell magnifier to cast a big dispel um, to try to get rid of the blue guy. So I'm doing green. I think you should be able to, I think it shows it yeah so I'm doing green um, most of them don't let me have a choice they make me do pargon but this one I was able to do dispel so I'm trying to do dispel magic um, as you can see we've done six so far so I did the green one pargon pargon dispel pargon pargon um, every time I do one I end up getting teleported into a room with a bunch of enemies and bosses um, yeah yeah. Also, last time I got super stuck um, and I had to do some like fucked up boss stuff that seemed very finicky and I did not like it, but the rest of it's been good. This is the first time I've been able to watch since day one of this game and things have changed. Dude, things have changed. It is a very, uh, it's less horror than I thought it was going to be and it's more like, I mean, I guess because of Rhode Island, I should have known it was going to be more eldritch, alien, god, s not surreal. Surreal is the wrong word for it. Strange? I should have known that. I mean, I kind of called it at the beginning because I was like, oh, haha, -ha, Rhode Island. And then I immediately had flashbacks to the secret world. <laughs> You're a veritable paragon of playing this game, Carcella. Good work. Thank you, Fractal. I don't know if any of you have played the not-hit MMO, The Secret World. <laughs> um, it's... <laughs> it's an MMO that um, is based off of... Um, let's just say it's an, it's an MMO. Uh, and it's full of puzzles, and it's basically like, yeah, it's basically like Lovecraft. An MMO based off of the Lovecraft stuff was real. Uh, and there's some very unfortunate things in there. Like, for example, um, I was playing with two friends, and one, one of whom was Rain. And we were like, okay, there's three factions. We'll each choose a different faction. And so I chose, like, the dragon faction or whatever, like, fantasy Asia one was. And um, they definitely don't expect you to be a girl character because um, the, my, my story started with an animation of a woman giving my female character a blowjob, <laughs> which looked a little weird. Uh, and I was like, guys, um, hmm, I think they made some assumptions. Anyway, the gameplay itself was very interesting. You had to like solve very confusing esoteric puzzles and explore different parts of weird world areas. And I think, I think that my character used, you could use like one, you could specialize in two trees. One of them was like a weapon and one of them was like a, 
magic? I think you could have chosen two weapons. Anyway, I was blood magic and shotguns. Uh, Rain made a character who was like, I can't remember. It was some, some, some Boston joke. Um, <laughs> but he had a baseball bat. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm I'm describing a video game called The Secret World. It's an MMO. I think it's called Secret World Legends now. I'm not sure. Anyway, I unfortunately do not recommend it, but it did have some good puzzle moments where you just kind of like sit around and try to figure out what's going on. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they didn't think any girl gamers were going to be playing because of that scene. There's also some platforming in it. And I don't know if you guys have played MMOs, like older MMOs before. If there's platforming, it's bad. And it was. And it was for a story beat that we had to get. Anyway, this is my not endorsing <laughs> the secret world. <laughs> anyway, we're not playing that. However, the tone of that game was very similar to this game. Sometimes demons, sometimes aliens, also puzzles. So if you like the vibe of this game, maybe get some people to download the secret world and play it with you. It probably won't be a mistake. HP Lovecraft stands for hellish platforming. <laughs> you wanted to play Secret Worlds, but your computer at the time could not run it. I didn't play it right when it came out, but... I don't remember it being particularly computer taxing, but I had just gotten a new computer, I think, so it didn't matter. Oh, this is the other one. We need to do... If we're doing Dispel, we need Area. Okay, they let me do it. Tower 7 is area. I hope I'm doing this right. Either we blow up at the end. I have a save before we started this, though. Either we blow up at the end, or we're fine. Okay, so that's green, paragon, paragon, dispel, paragon, paragon, area. I believe there's nine towers. We're probably gonna have to go fight a boss. Mom, 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 mom. God, I love the look of this place. I don't know how this is going to interact with future me, though. I'm still a little confused. <gasps> Whoa! Hello? And there's a the guy right there. I wonder if it's safe to do this. I probably should have shielded myself before I went in. He's yelling, so it should take him a while to turn around. Yes! Hey, Mr. Fribs. Yeah, I wish the secret world was better. There's little wigglers in here. Um, I enjoyed what I did play with it, but I think it's only because of who I played it with and because, you know, we have such strong connections to Rhode Island. Because all of us either, like, lived there at one point or lived near there. Is that blood? We need to find the lever. Can't walk in there. Sounds like that secret world should have stayed secret. I'm telling you, if... And there was a... There's like a plot thing. Oh, there's the lever. There's a plot thing that happens where you have to do a very difficult... I wonder if they've changed it now. You have to do a difficult solo section, but you've been playing with other people the whole game, and it's just like misery. Hi, guys. I'm just going to run by you, okay? Oh! Just don't run into them. We'll be fine. Yeah, if you've played The Secret World, you're probably like, yeah, it's interesting, but it's bad. Huh? Can I go in this? I don't remember this one. We must have done it, though. Imagine if they made this game with upgrade upgraded graphics. That would kind of freak me out. I really, really enjoy it for what it is, if I'm being honest. I don't think I can step on this. Why are there police right outside my house? Go away. <laughs> you're not welcome here. Oh, I forgot. That's the sound of him panting. This family needs to do more running in general. Alright, sweet. This is either, like, the end of the game or right near the end, or I'm being bait and switched and we're not at the end of the game at all, and I'm, I'm being punked. People don't say that anymore. I don't know why. I just did. So we've been saving over this spot. So that we're doing all of them in this. And then this is before it started. When we're done, I'm going to save here. I think. If it lets me save. 
See, those look filled in, but I think that's what it looked like before. All right. Yeah, I honestly think this game looks incredible. I haven't seen a ton of GameCube games. Um, what did we play? We played Pikmin. Most of what I've used the GameCube for has been playing Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> so, Pargon. Tower. Why are you shaking so much? Eight. Pargon. Um, let's see. Pikmin, Luigi's Mansion. Um, Thousand Year Door, but that's a very... Most of those are incredibly stylized. I think this looks incredible. All things considered. Hello, who am I fighting? What is that? Ew! Here stand the remnants of a forgotten museum. Perhaps long ago, the alcoves now sealed with clouded glass would have been filled with the creatures and artifacts of Los Enga. Well, that's the fire zombie. That's some type of blob. That's a big old monster. Are they gonna come out when I pull this fucking lever? Let's cast a shield. <laughs> Am I fashionably late? You are. Um, you really haven't missed that much at all. Just turning on these arrays. Hoping we don't lose. Hoping I'm not doing the wrong thing. Because it didn't really tell me what to do. What? I'm so sur- Oh, that one was green. That's not good. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hey, team. You're green. That's very bad for me. Hey, zombie. I guess we could go to the poop zone, but I'd have to come back. Ow. Oh, the shield does not protect you from the poop zone. Okay. What's in here? Nothing too bad. Um, sure. Still love your GameCube and play with it quite regularly. That's really nice. I really want to play Pikmin too. I keep, I put it on pulse, but no one seems to give a shit about it, which is fair. I just want to play it. The best looking GameCube games to you were Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Oh my God, I forgot that was a thing. I'd really like to play that. I played a DS Crystal Chronicles with my friends, but all I remember is how excited we were that we could like play on our DSs in the same world in real time. It wasn't just like, oh, you know, you're kind of there, but you're not type of situation. It was a big deal. Back in 2008? All right, that guy's green, so we should do Charmander. No spells can be cast in the Trapper dimension. I didn't know that. It sucks. Oh, you're still alive. Hello. All right, you guys have a lot of health. Oh, he coming. Eek! What? No. Oh, my controls. I hate that they do that. All right, I'm leaving him there. May I do the shield? I want to know. Oh, wait. I didn't want shields. Oh, well. I definitely wanted... Fuck you. It still makes your controls backwards. I wanted this. I don't know if I have enough now. You just said a major crack of thunder that made you think the office roof was coming down? Jesus. That's spooky. Hey, buddy. Stop reversing my controls. Rude. We run out of shotgun, I'm going to use the elephant gun. I've been saving it because I'm too afraid to use it. Okay, we should be good to leave now. Um, I don't want to leave them because we probably have to go back to these rooms. Bum, bum, bum. What if the cat costume is where Octavia dresses as me and Karkala's costume is dressing as Octavia? 
I will neither confirm nor deny whether that's a possibility. This is making you want to get your GameCube out? You should! Honestly, honestly, I think the coolest thing about the GameCube is the Game Boy Player, but... It's because I think the Game Boy is like the greatest thing ever made. It was the first... When I was a kid, the SNES was the family's. I mean, it was mine. I think we got it on my birthday or something, but... It was like something I played with my dad and my brother. The Game Boy Color that I got for my birthday years later was a way for me to play games by myself. And that's like a huge deal for a kid. Oh! Oh shit. I should have saved. I hope this is right. Edward's meddling with the arrays has conjured incredible energies that are now building up inside the city and can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. Oh, shit. Okay, so maybe we make a new save here. Oh, boy, that is a lot of vibrating video game. Where the hell am I now? Alright, that's the way out. What was that? What? Oh my fucking- what? <laughs> How is my sanity? Okay, he drank. Okay. I wonder if I didn't... Shit. Um... That is... There are so many of them. Uh... That is closed. Why is that closed? Did they go this way? Oh god. This doesn't seem right. Oh boy. Please stop breathing like that. You're pissing me off. Well, surely it's this way. This is blocked now. Oh, or not. Huh? These plants look like the ones Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City where he found the essence uh, of the ancients. Edward briefly wonders what their purpose could be. It would seem as though the array itself serves as a massive circle of power. Each switch around the perimeter of the room corresponds to a focusing tower where a rune may be scribed. Once the spell has been scribed, it is magnified by the array. Could this be the Guardian City's weakness? If some could remove the magic from this area. That's what I tried to do. Oh no. I may have done it bad. Alright, let's just try to get out of here. Yeah, that's his liquid courage, the alcohol that he drank from the flask. Please stop panting. Good lord. He didn't even run that far. I have bad cardio, and I would be able to run more than this man. I'm assuming we're just supposed to leave. I don't think that's right. Because <laughs> a door opened, but it just... I don't know. Let's see what happens if we go this way. If I'm going the wrong way, it might just kill me or not. Oh! 
seemed right. <gasps> okay. get in my house. What? She didn't get... He actually died? Okay, that explains why his head is gone. I think that thing ate his head. Master. Saddened to report the destruction of the Guardian Colony at the Ruin of Engar. I am not without eyes, servant. I knew of their loss as it happened. It is not a concern of mine. The Guardians were merely tools to forward the greater cause. Think of them as casualties of war. God damn it. But the balance of power has shifted with their loss. Nonsense! Balance? There has never been balance. If anything, we shall remove all balance. Our plan continues as predicted. I have seen the future, Pius, and it portends a great battle between myself and the great being of matter. Chaturga will fall to my superiority. The power of Chaturga is useless against me. Of course. As it was meant to be. The gates will be readied, just the same. We shall overcome. Be patient, my servant. Be patient. Hmm. Alex finds a scrap of paper tucked between the pages of the tome. It appears to be a note from Edward. Hmm. Uh, Dad, thank you for gifting a tier two dad sub to Sludbor the Magnificent. And also, Broken Quest, thank you for gifting a sub to Faye. <laughs> thank you, guys. I'm now imagining Squirtle delivering those voice lines. God, I wish. Oh! Oh, boy. That's low sanity. I wonder if we should fix it. I'm definitely gonna save. Part of me is like... Wowie, I really want to see. <laughs> I really want to see what happens. That's well, weird seeing his face there. Um, because we've gotten some weird stuff. A small note written on a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Dear Alex, I have left you a small surprise to keep you going when everything seems to go awry. It was my favorite tipple. Oh no, and there are several barrels of it in the basement. Please help yourself to what you can find. My guess is I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather, Edward. But I don't want your weird alcohol. I don't know if I want to be this insane either. Um, okay, what the hell did we learn? We still don't have this spell, but I know what it is. Didn't I leave a horror in this house? All right, we'll just stay crazy and see. If anything really scary happens, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> hmm. Let the insanity begin. Thank you, Serge. I mean, I don't think I can go in the basement. Yeah, he's here. Hey, buddy. Owie, ow, ow. I'm sorry I left you here. The horror. The horror. I thought this is here. <laughs> Thank you, Vegas. I summon this. Aw, Phoenix. Thank you for the 128. Thank you guys for the hype train. 
Is it hyper insanity? Because that's what's going to be happening. I just have to make sure that I don't accidentally heal it. So if I heal myself, I want to do red. But if I do green, it heals my sanity. Which took me a bit to figure out. But I... <laughs> I do know how to do it. Alright, so we set the basement. Thank you guys very much. Shitty ancestor. Yes? All right. Basement alcohol, huh? There's something stashed between the barrels of port. Should Alex pull it out? Yes. I found a pickaxe? Um... I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Can I equip it? A hefty pickaxe. Spelled without an E at the end? Huh. I could have sworn... Oh, well. For demolishing walls. For demolishing wall. <gasps> Servants' quarters. Too cumbersome to be used as a weapon. It might come in handy somewhere else. Okay, kick ass. I know where to go. Just make sure there's nothing else down here that we missed. Now, can we play Minecraft? Maybe. Wait, I can go here? What's in here? Oh, right, this weird thing. Alright, whatever. We have a wall to demolish. Still not open this either. Right, we need a stethoscope. Dude, I it's so nice that I can just walk up walls without having to click a button. I'm pretty crazy, so we're probably going to get something soon. I hope it tries to turn off my TV again. Okay. Hope Alex is stronger than she looks. I wonder if I need to have my sanity up for... Um... Great, 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 great grandfather? What the fuck? What is happening in here? Uh Oh, he just killed everybody. That's interesting. They just like left it? They didn't clean it up? I think there's gonna be a shield, yeah. Okay, um, Charmander. candlestick and a note? Okay. <laughs> oh, an antique stethoscope seemingly accidentally dropped into the pile of ash glints brightly in the light of the room. Should Alex retrieve it? Yes. That does not look like a stethoscope, but okay. A scrap of paper unmarked by the fire lies amidst the bones and ashes. Should Alex retrieve it? Yes. Alex has found a page from the Journal of Maximilian Roivas. Oh god, dude. <laughs> this reminds me of... I don't know if any of you have ever seen the original Pete's Dragon. That was one of my favorite movies as a kid. It's a guy who has like one of those hearing horns, but it's, it's used for <laughs> scamming people with snake oil. At the very beginning. 
It's pretty funny. Oh, thank you guys for the baby hype train. I appreciate it. Okay, pickaxe on um, servants' quarters. Well, I guess my great great grandpappy did go crazy. And letter. Well, we know where to use the stethoscope. What? Closing notes. Hmm. Yeah, it does look like <laughs> it's an ancient plunger. You can hear how poopy your toilet is. That sounds weird. This is a page from Maximilian Rivas's journal. It reads, as I contemplated these ideas, my suspicions of my servants grew and I became increasingly fearful of them. I began to watch them carefully. Days ago, I watched one of them stretch his neck. I could have sworn I saw a twist in a most peculiar direction and a bulge of muscle tissue collect and grow in the most incorrect of manners. As if a bone was being displaced from its proper location and something else moving in its place. I stumbled away knowing that I was surrounded by unholy creatures that wore the skins of mortal men and women. I had to take action. Dear God, let my hand be swift and merciful lest the world see more of these diabolic creatures. Okay, so he thought they were all fucking bone guys. Um, these. They are so close, their stench fills the air. You can smell them, I tell you. Somewhere between the spice of vanilla and the bitter sweetness of pustulant rot. Those creatures inhabit the bodies of men and women, exercising the human soul and replacing it with their own putrid spirits. But they couldn't fool me. No, not at all. I could smell them, you see. They were all around me. Dear God, all around. I knew what I had to do. They had to go. By blade and bullet, I had to get rid of them. <laughs> Don't you understand? Dear God, I had to do it. Had to. You believe me, don't you? Don't you? <sighs> okay. So we heard that before, but... <sighs> I wonder if he talks on the other ones. Corpses. He does! Drink, rotting cadavers. What contrivance could have wrought this, this, this abomination? Disease science, blasphemous occult rituals. How can something so, so dead yet be so alive and hungry? They lust for flesh, human flesh, and feast upon all the sweet breads a man has to offer. Blah. Rotted from within, worried apart by the ravening fish, parasitic feeder of their sunken graves. These drowned zombies emerged, spilling their festering entrails and slopping fluids with each pain ridden step, each step hoping to bring an end to their pain by spreading it to others. Deep in those ancient caverns, a great city was lost, long before we humans, long, long before. The proud city of Engar, decadent and trusting, and it was their downfall. When the darkness came, and the guardians slaughtered them, their existence was but a dying echo shrieking from violated mouths resounding within their homes, their tombs. If you stand alone in one of those halls quietly, ever so quietly, you can hear the cries of the people of Enga, rent apart by the unseen of the guardians, their echoes still linger, as do their souls. Hmm. 
Holy shit. Okay. I didn't realize he talked on all of them. It's a shame we didn't see more monsters as him. Yeah, the voice acting um, for Maximilian is very, very good. Nestled on a bed of ash are the remains of three people. Was this the duty that Maximilian had hinted at? Had he suspected that his servants were not human? But there are four clearly occupied beds and only three skulls. What had happened to the fourth? Oh. That's interesting. Um. One person's <laughs> remains missing? I hope he's not in the fucking basement. All right. Let's go back to the basement, I suppose. What? Are you actually in here? <laughs> Hello? Jesus fucking Christ. Not you. Oh, I lost it. Um, okay, that's fine. I don't know why these are here now. Oh! Hey, look. This is flesh now. Uh, like it was... Okay. Maybe... Oh, hello. Maybe I should really, really increase my sanity. I don't know. That's what's causing this. No, don't look at her. Just not getting shit back, huh? It's not cool. I guess I'm getting a little. It goes down just as fast. I hear more of them. Jesus. Hey, who's here? What are you? You're stuck in the wall. What are you doing, bud? Don't take my stuff. I don't hear anybody else. Other than the screaming lady who's always here. This might be fake. Why am I back in here? What the fuck? This isn't real. Maybe this isn't real? Hello? Not real. Not real. Not real. Is it really happening? No, it's not, kiddo. We're fine. Shut up, baby. Okay. What? I can't use it? Do I just click it? Now that Alex- Why? Now that Alex has the stethoscope, she can easily hear the tumblers inside. To open the safe, the dial should be turned to the right until the tumblers can be heard falling into place and then turn to the left until the same sound is heard and finally to the right again. Um, hold on. I can't hear. So I'm gonna <laughs> do a little bit of sanity check. Let's just do a little. I can't hear. <laughs> All right, screaming went away. Just a little sanity. Oh. Hold on, I was there, it's 60 something. A 
It might be 59. very hard to do one at a time on this controller. Is around 80. Let's oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Well, I went the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> God damn it. Fifty-nine. But why would I have to go all the way around? That's weird. I've never done that before. Boo. Thanks, Cashel. Eighty-one. Around 45. Oop. 59. Thank you, Serge. 81. All the way around 81. I can't tell if that's 46 or 47 because it's right in the middle. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh! What the fuck is that doing here? <clears throat> As the safe's door hinges open, its contents are revealed. That's another fucking chapter. Many important items left behind by Edward lie on the shelves inside. Should Alex collect them? Yes. So. We have the essence of Zelata. That's good. Which is the green one. found a crankshaft <gasps> that might be for the um a ast weird astronomy room it looks like it matches that other stuff a letter from edward and <laughs> chapter page. I don't want to. I thought we were done. Ashes to ashes. Well, I'm glad I didn't go late on Friday. Dust to dust. No! <laughs> Thanks, Serge. Yeah, it's all very Lovecraftian. Oh, boy. Who the f oh, it's the, the evil religious cult. Augustus, a storm of metal and fire, and a torrent of souls along with it, young and vibrant. Yes, I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure, and one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling.
With this sacrifice of souls, I make unto thee, great one. The gate shall be ready to be opened. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of souls. Shall be at hand. Well, that seems bad. A large brass crankshaft, seemingly part of an antique. The sigil of Zelototh gives off an eerie green light, as if the air around it is spun into madness itself. So this one's sanity. So the one I'm fighting is probably... Oh! Okay. So at the beginning of the game, I had the main... I had Augustus pick a fig, and that determined which one we were fighting. So I picked blue, which must be, like, magic aspected. So we're fighting, like, blue... I think. Blue stuff. But red would have been, like, health-based. And green would have been, like, sanity-based. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, hello. Thank you for your channel points. We are officially 70% 70 70 of the way to wearing stupid costumes. All right, Edward, Dear what do you want? Alexandra, I would re what? If you were reading this, Alex, then I am surely dead. Knowing that the police will contact my only living relative, I made Blue sure Blue Wizard is out of food. Blue Wizard is about to As die. I write this letter. Pius Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus' plans, but not stopped them completely. Wasn't he will still try to bring his ancient into this world. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. You must gather the artifacts and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Oh! Of the artifacts, there are four. But one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. They are the Black Heart of Mantarok, the Claw of Chaturga, the Sigil of Zelototh, the Veil of Ulyalth. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius's, who has had two millennium to prepare his gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. All of them? It all rests with you, my dear. I wish you well in Another this month already? Act. I wish I had more guidance for you. But I am at my wit's end. And I feel I am running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Oh, fuck. Uh, Magus, thank you for the feed. Sea Pig, welcome back. Another month already. Thank you very much for sticking around for 20 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, we definitely don't have... Um, okay. So we need... Well, we know which one we can't get. But we need the black heart of Mantarok. The claw of Chaturga, which I think we do have. Um, the sigil of Zelatoth, which we definitely have because we just got it. Um, the Veil of Uliath is the one he has because that is the ancient he's trying to summon and bring to our world from wherever the hell zone he lives in. So put a big line through that one. We can't have that one. Thanks, Grandpappy. All right. Um, what? I don't see them. No, we have the essence of Mantrock, but that's not... Mantarok's heart? That is it! <gasps> okay, so we have Mantarok. The heart pulses with an unholy life. Although the corpse god itself festers elsewhere, its power resides in the artifact. Okay. And we have the sigil of Zelatoth. Wait, where's the Chaturga one? I thought it was in... 
That's so weird. You know what? This is the one we must have gotten. But I saw it get... Hmm. Hey, Ferris. Good morning. You've been dumping Max into kitty costume. I'm so excited. I, she's going to hate it. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure humanity can't coexist with the ancients, but, you know. I guess I'll save this here. Um, ashes to ashes. I want to go back to the room. I also want to go to the magic room. That's on the way anyway. We're not super sanity messed up right now, so I'm gonna peep. Yeah, we need the Chaturga one. That's weird. I could have sworn we had that one. Okay, so. Oh yeah, look! Oh. And then I take it out. Weird. This lets me put the different one in. Alright. Well, I've confirmed that is where it goes. I just don't know how to use it yet. Hopefully this next chapter... Oh, hello. Guy poking... <laughs> ah! Jesus fucking Christ! There were no sounds indicating that these would be here. I got got. They got me. The game fucking got me. It wasn't even a sanity thing. There were just guys in the hallway. Ow. My soul and chest. Oh, there. Oh, hello. There's more than one of you. I can't see you, though. Video game? Owie. This is very rude. Unbelievable. Why weren't they making any sounds? <sighs> no, the hub world's no longer safe. I know, you're sad. It's gonna be okay. Is there anybody in here? Better not be. It's my safe place. Okay. Save. Before we go in, somehow there's another chapter. I have no idea what this could be. Ashes to ashes. Fine. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens. Oil fields? Knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. What? Canadian firefighter? In the Middle East? I mean, I know this is a job, but... How's the temperature in there? It's hotter than hell here. I'm getting a little nervous about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. More powerful. Put I your mask on. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Just relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. What? We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's got to tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the... This is like a completely different game. No, I don't want to be down there again. Mm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's the body pillar. 
This means this is where Mantarok is. Oh my god. Should have been wearing your mask. What the hell happened? They're all dead. Sorry, bud. McCormick. Patterson. All gone. Yeah, don't look at that. Looks like they've been buried alive under tons of concrete. It well. It's the claw. Many That's what we need. Perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Engoth. At the ruins, a gathering of light. Right. You want me to take this to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. Oh. Canadians don't know where Rhode Island is or that it's a thing. There's no way. No one from any other country knows what Rhode Island is. <laughs> when I was in Japan, I used to have to say I was from New York because I didn't know what Connecticut was either. All right, Mike. I shouldn't write down that I'm getting the claw. Let's do this. Sensing the danger, Mike protects his hands from its insidious magic by using his coat and to carefully pick up the artifact. I want to be like Mike. From the <laughs> to Eastern floor. All right, I'll write it down. They did the sound. This should be the last artifact we need. Thank you, Zerge. So, chat. Erg. Uh -huh. All right, I'm a f I'm a firefighter. Oh, the ruby effigy. Man, we've passed this through quite a few people. You say he should have been wearing his mask, but the others were wearing their masks and they died. Not for those reasons. <laughs> Good dear. Thank you, Turn Tiny Turn World. I never found a green one though. I wonder if there's a green one here. Oh, it's just a guy. Um I have a fire axe! Oh, that's kick ass. A multi-purpose fire axe made from molybdenum alloy for extra strength and heat resistance. Equip, equip. Hmm. Yeah, I never found a green one. I have a flashlight. A durable emergency flashlight equipped with a long endurance battery. That's nice. Correlation equals causation. Everyone Where knows that. Thank you, Fractal. I'm really surprised. I couldn't hold a torch and other things at the same time. Chaturka's claw glows with an unnatural blood red aura, seething with restrained violence. Come here, zombies. Oh, cool. I put the light on my shirt. This guy's neat. Oh, his sanity is not very good, though. Unfortunate. Do I have good magic? I'm terrible at everything except to health. Why? I'm not allowed to save. My dead friends. Oh, hello. You're big. We're gonna have some sanity issues until I get the uh, magic. I have to hit their heads, otherwise they'll explode. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be really careful about sanity with this guy. I'm so surprised there's more. I really thought that big array thing was the end. So I'm, I'm again, I'm really glad I didn't go late because we would have been like forever playing. Oh, hello. A desiccated corpse lies sprawled on the temple floor, dressed in desert combat fatigues. A rifle, pistol, and variety of ammunition lie about him. The soldier appears to have gone down fighting. Should I collect the weapons? An assault rifle. A 
some ammo, a pistol. Ammo. What's the other thing? Grenades? That doesn't look like grenades. It looks like a clip, but okay. Thanks. Oh, I see. What? These are 22 millimeter air infused grenade shells for use with the OICW rifle. Obje oh, they do go into the gun. Yeah, I don't give a shit about <laughs> about gun terms. I'm probably going to say them wrong. Please just deal with it. The objective individual combat weapon is a Heckler and Coke? Coke? G36 rifle mounted under a 22 millimeter grenade cannon. It's commonly assigned to special force units. The rifle uses, I don't care. I'm never going to learn anything about guns. If fucking, if Metal Gear couldn't teach me about guns, I don't think anything can. All right, I'm going to keep using this though. The worst thing about playing a video game when you don't know about guns is that people get, like, really upset sometimes. Like, you'll get a gun in a game and it'll call it an AK, and then someone will be like, well, it's not actually an AK. Blah, 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 blah. Rifle. <laughs> check. Pistol. Check. Grenade launcher. Party time for everything way. else. There is MasterCard. Thanks, Serge. Okay, I can't go out this way. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't have any interest in... Oh my god, fuck. Uh, are you blue? That's blue. So, um, we... I can't enchant it. Okay, let's kill this guy first. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck! Okay, well, he got to fucking cast off that guy. I hope this gun is fast. Sure. Please open up. Please open up. This sucks. I really need magic. Really bad. Fuck. We're gonna have shit for sanity. Please open. This sucks shit. Thank you for gifting what? Six months of sub to Nerd in the Bay? Thank you. Oh! Popping into send an update! The Nerd and the Baby has arrived Saturday morning and you're a dad. Congratulations! Yeah, dad in the bay. Congratulations. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope I hope, you know, everything's going okay and everyone's healthy. Congratulations, dude. That's wonderful. That's lovely. I'm just gonna run by this. I give up. Man, that's great. I hope you guys are able to, like, just relax now for a little bit. I'm just gonna go down the stairs. Fuck this. Hopefully we can find the book. A little dude. I might actually go there to try to get my sanity back. Really surprised how quickly this guy seems to just accept this weird shit. I think a lot of people have just accepted the weird shit, but his sanity is quite low, so. Fuck me. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get sanity back. You're fine, you're fine. Green, please. Green. Desperate for green. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> I was like, is it not gonna change? Mom is doing okay, recovering and all. We go home tomorrow. That is wonderful news.
I hope you guys are able to get a little bit of sleep. <laughs> okay. Back to non-crooked sanity. I do have to kill a guy over there. Oh boy. I hope this one isn't as hard as the last France one we had with the war. Okay, so we went up there. There's definitely something up there, but I think we're going to have to avoid more enemies in this part. Situated on a waist-high plinth is a gold amulet. Take. I like the ambient music here, but I also hate this place, so... That seems a bit pointless, doesn't it? Oh, there's two of them! Good. What's this? Nothing? This is gonna be rough. Oh, hello. We're just not allowed to have sanity, huh? Oh. My guard. I'm stuck. Hello, game? This poor guy. This poor fucking guy. He's having the worst day of his life. <laughs> He's probably gonna die down here too if he can't get the thing to Rhode Island. Someone else will. What is this? Is this nothing? Oh boy. I should be keeping an eye on where I'm going. Alright, let's look at this. Circular in shape with a series of jewels clustered around what appears to be a glass lens. It has a fitting on one side as though it was once attached to something. Weird. Can I save? Yes. We haven't been able to save here at all yet. That's not good. Okay. Oh shit, there's a... Do we see anything in the room itself? I don't see anything in here. Okay, so there's a bunch of... <gasps> I got... S oh, I can't... I don't have any magic yet. But that's it! That's the last of the colored- okay. So we have to remember to come back here. But that means... There's a different way. I have to get to the magic zone. Um... That was too slow? Yep, that was too slow. Shit. Fuck the stupid walls. fine. It's just sanity. Okay, I actually killed it. This should give me back a lot. We're gonna have to be careful in here. Like, really careful. Oh, Dude, I'm so happy for you. I have a lot of friends having babies right now. Seems like the time. 
We have one friend who had a little baby a couple months ago and they gave her the cutest fucking name and I can't, I don't want to tell you guys what it is because I don't want to out their baby's name. But it's like the best name I've ever heard and it's plant-based and I love it. Alright, so we cleared that out. Yeah, no baby docs. I'm not going to dox the baby. Unless they give me... It's name... Her name is not 7 up. <laughs> Good old 7 up the baby. Man, that would be funny. It's not plant-based, though. I mean, I guess 7 up is made of something. I don't think there's any plants in 7 up's creation. Ah! Oh, that didn't work. I gotta get out of this room. That's blood. That's blood. No, we don't want that. This poor guy. His poor sanity. I feel bad for him. I wish I was doing a better job with you. Don't wiggle me into the poop zone, please. Actually, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It just looks like he's listening to me. I wish I could kill those. Alright, so we definitely haven't been down here, I don't think. No, not yet. We've gotta find the magic book and we've gotta go- Oh god, back to that place. Well, they're certainly giving me a lot to kill to get my sanity back. Oh, you're very large. Hello? <laughs> I really like the axe too. This is the best finisher, I think, because sometimes it cuts off their torsos. There's another one in here. Hello. Yeah, this guy's very strong. I like him. And he doesn't run like an idiot, thank god. Who's that? Who's that? An odd battered staff lies upon the dais. So we have a gold amulet and a staff. A long staff made from hardwood, its finish once clean and resplendent is now dented and cracked. One end of the staff is merely bare wood, indicating that something was once attached to the end. Oh! Oh! Okay. It's still called a staff. I thought it was going to be like, ah, a pretty staff. Finally, a character who can run. It's... It's so refreshing. <laughs> I don't know how long he can run because we're kind of stuck in corridors, but. Also, let me just say again, Arrow Hydra, that was a really sweet gift. That was really nice of you to do. After five chapters of nerds, we finally get an athlete. Well, it's nice to have someone who's not panting all the time. A long staff made from hardwood. It's finished, blah, blah, blah. It is topped with a gold amulet and set with a lens. This reminds me of Indiana Jones. Yeah, ah, uh, Indy, you have the same idea. Um, I don't see anything else in here, but there was another way to go. We should watch Indiana, Indiana Jones for a movie night soon. Okay, so we've got to go that way. Why is it so quiet? Is this a model of the city? It looks like a scale replica of the area. The model is made from clay and seems brittle. Some of the buildings appear to have been coated with a reflective glaze. It is Indiana Jones! Where's the spot for the... It, my god, it's literally the step... Let me save before I do this. I feel like it's going to screw us. <laughs> They're digging in the wrong place. A movie I, f I know finally. 
A depression lies in the floor in front of the bottle. Perhaps something may be placed there. I remember I watched that movie for the first time, I think in like eighth grade. And all the other kids were like, you've never seen Indiana Jones. And I was like, I don't know what it is. And then they made me watch the first one like 20 times. Granted, it was very enjoyable, but. Uh, oh. What, are you supposed to reflect on all of them? This is very fiddly. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I did it. That was cool. What? Ugh, whatever. Yeah, that made sense. Uh, the very spicy light. <laughs> Indiana Jones would have touched the worm claw artifact and got his hand melted off. He would have he would have had like a sidekick with him that did it for him. I wonder if I walk in this it'll burn me. It does not. A hidden compartment has been revealed. The rear wall of the compartment is lined with polished metal forming a crude mirror. Yeah, it would be like um it would be like the mummy. What's his face? That asshole. Benny? Man, I love that movie. Uh, I'm gonna be a big baby and save a lot. We still haven't gotten the book, so... Oh, never mind, we're about to get the book! Hey, everybody! Loved you. Stop ruining my life. Oh, it's full now! These two came back. Kinda. Why is the book's hand opening like that? Alright, this is the new one. Hi, Grandpa! Hold on, we have to say hi to everybody. Yep, yep. Alright, we did it. Give me the book. Prelude, what appears to be a leathery hand. Blah, 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 blah. Take it. Yeah, the gang's all here. Oh, all right, let's uh, let's heal. <laughs> Do a little quick little heal. He has poop for mana. I really hope we don't have to actually fight anything important. Recover, slanity. I swear if you don't have context, this game doesn't make a lick of sense. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of the game is you're discovering context the entire time. Does that mean the book knew how many people would have to die? I assume that somebody is building that magically. Oh, hello. Squigglers. Uh, all right, where are we now? A new long chamber. Excuse me. Oh, there's ones over there. I'm pretty sure I can't kill the trappers, so. I was hoping to look at this! Whatever. <gasps> oh! Purple, 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 no. Purple, purple. Purple or blue? Purple. Excuse me, sir. I don't want to get electrocuted. <sighs> Alright, there's nothing on these walls. Stop yelling at me. At least not that I could see. But wait! We can't- we shouldn't be going this way. I have to go the other way. We have to go get the green thing. I'll come back for this. I'm gonna run into one. Well, it's the red one. Maybe it's not a boss. There's a different boss. Ah! Green. I'll take green. 
shit. Excuse me. Uh, I need to. Don't touch me. No. I need to go get that green thing. I'm wondering if those were optional items. And if they are, I want to make sure I- Oh! I saw him look down too. <laughs> Why is he over there now? Yeah, I'll take gold. Just clearing out the room. This is all on purpose, for sure. Hey, buddy. God, these red ones are way too strong. Oh! Fucking knew it. Whatever, I have healing now. Why am I doing this? <sighs> it's fine, it's fine. I'll heal when we get back. I want to make sure I go get that item. Please stop yelling at me, room. Recover sanity doesn't cost very much. It's pretty nice. Oops, I moved and I wasted it. Teehee. Terrible. <laughs> it's really understated in fiction just how well-equipped firefighters are for dealing with the paranormal. They've got protective coats, big axes for zombies and skeletons, and big water hoses for vampires and witches. Firefighters are pretty kick-ass people, so I agree. My, uh, my father-in-law was a fire chief is was he's retired now rain and i are getting older so everyone around us is also getting older okay i don't think it's this one i think it's this one all right at least that's gone it might have been this What are you doing here? Fucking no excuse. <laughs> okay, I got punched into being teleported. That's not fucking fair. Can I? Well, I guess I should have killed those earlier, shouldn't I have? Bastards. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, right, I can't cast spells in here. I have to, it's gonna teleport me back out into the same room, which is the sad part. I just need to get down the stairs. Oh, hello. There's another one of you. I should check that body again. I think he was from France. I think it was one of the soldiers. Okay, what's that? Nothing. I'm getting electrocuted over and over and over again. I got down the stairs. I win. Lock and load. We're here to kick butt and chew bubble gum, and we're all out of bubble gum. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Vegas. The sad part is I have to go up there again, but I'll just try to shields before we do it. At least I picked the right place. Um, I think I did. Oh my god, did I? Oh my god, did I not? No, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. It's down here. That's not their feet, that's... Okay, I want this. Um, Charmander. I don't know if I have enough to do this. Did I just cast the wrong fucking thing? Yeah, I healed myself like an idiot. Well, hold on. I gotta run around and get my magic back. There's a strict no spell policy in the chopper dimension. At least this guy can run. Yeah, I did a mistake. I picked the wrong spell. <sighs> yeah, don't worry about that, that horrible room. 
How many is that? One, two... I'm just gonna wait it till I can do the big one at least. At least this guy isn't panting every five steps like the last three people. He's so in shape. I'm fairly sure in the news in the last couple years, international firefighters, because it's such like a fucking terrible job, it was saying what they get paid and how a bunch of them were like, please, we're literally dying. Could you fucking pay us better? Oh my god, this is blue. I was looking at the statue. It's not blue. Or, uh, it's not green, it's blue. I have to do green. Do I have enough to do this, please? Okay. It's all my fault! I was looking at the wrong thing. That color is there. Alright, gimme. An emerald effigy sits upon a display stand. Take. Cool, I have all of them now. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's important. I just wrote M. Ralph. That's not a color or a sh shit. Okay, we have all of them. Can I... A small statue of a scholar ravaged by an unseen foe. It is made from clear emerald. So it's a scholar, a sorcerer, and a warrior. That makes sense. Based on... Based on what we know about the colors and the representations. Now what's... <gasps> <gasps> These are real? Oh my god. Um... The fuck? <laughs> I've only ever seen those in dreams or whatever. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're okay. I'm glad I went back. I don't know if we would have had to go here otherwise. And I definitely just saved. Alright, so now we have to head back through the fucking shit room. Um, I'm gonna go up, and then I'm going to shield myself before we do this. Hopefully we have enough. They were all blue. So green. I don't have enough. I probably don't have enough ever to do that one. The jock statue kicks sand in the nerd statue's face, and the nerd statue impresses impresses the teacher enough to punish the jock statue. Ha ha ha. Let me go down, please. Okay, hopefully we can survive this fucking room. Oh, the big one's gone. The fuck? All right, whatever. I'm not going to complain. Okay. So, if we went down, we need to go... It might be this way? No, that doesn't seem right. We gotta go down to the last one. So that big thing is specifically there after you get magics to, to stop you from getting the emerald effigy. It's pretty mean. God, look at him go. He can sprint down the whole hallway. So much better than all the nerds I've been playing. Alright, here's this room. Then we go down here. Save again. Anxiety save. Teacher analogy seems weak. I felt pressed for time. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. Scholars rise up. I don't know what I would be. Oh boy. Alright, let's try to do this. Oh, my shield just immediately went away. Shit, dodge that. My shield's gone. Teehee. 
fuck these rooms. Alright, what the hell was that? That was this. Now I'm down eh? in another and it loops? What was that? It looked like lightning. Are you winning against the cosmic cores? I'm certainly trying. Um, I thought that I was going to win sooner, but turns out that was a lie. <laughs> hey, I mm. Hope you're having a good day. Fucking Christ. All right. Oh, they're attacking each other. Okay, sweet. Oh, that one's going to explode. What am I shooting? I don't want to shoot this. Shit. <sighs> okay. What is that? Nothing, apparently. The camera's not going to let me look at it. So there's a stair down here. That hole looks like one of the wormholes, and I don't particularly want to go over and stick my face into it. It's just me. Just don't want to do that. Not load. Save. Um, hmm. How bad could it be? It's been pretty bad, but... Surely it can't be. Much worse than we've been facing. Rooms I just need to run through. Of course it's another one of those. Um... I'm gonna try to green my axe. Uh... Whoa, oh, we're even further down, okay. I'm gonna kill it. This is a try. This is a GameCube game, so yes. What the hell? Fuck, I knew I should have gone back in. I wish I could hit them while they're spawning. All right, green is definitely making it faster. Even though the whispering is very loud when she does stuff. Took a little damage, but her health is very good, so. Can I kill you? Okay. Do you not care about me? Okay, bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Man, her voice is really cool. I don't know who the actress is, but I like it. What the hell was that sound? Is that me? 
Yeah, that was me. Please no one tell me what the voice stuff is. What the hell? Hello. A strange obelisk made from dark granite. Like, oh, a dark granite-like material appears to be blocking the way forward, but the obelisk appears to be impervious to all damage. I don't... There is no opposite to purple. Purple is, like, general. Hmm. I do think the 3D sounds in this are great. Hello. I missed. Why? Yeah, hit each other. Could you face the right way, son? Oh, good. More. That looks like Pius. Is he, like, fucking... Does he have a young forever picture? He definitely looks like a skeleton, though. Can you target? Who's that? Oh, maybe there were different possible people? It's lightning and thundering outside. Ooh. That's cool. Let me, um... Try to... Do a quick... Actually... Maybe we just heal real quick. Green, red, blue. Am I allowed to save now? Okay. The floodgates for this game are going to be hefty. Well, I'm probably going to request that people don't talk about the other possible choices. Because I might replay this game. The boss relief depicts a proud warrior. The Oh, the image is very strong. Dominating this part of the room below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the walls of awaiting something. Oh, that's what these are for. Okay, never mind. This isn't like secret items. I'm supposed to have these. Oh, fuck! God damn it. That's fine. Whatever. God damn it, game. Asshole. Hello? Can you target? Why am I not targeting things? Oh, I hate you. Just get electrocuted to death. Why are you so bad at seeing? Is it the camera? It's the camera. Unbelievable. I'm stuck in this room this fucking thing. At least I saved. If we die, we'll be okay. What? God damn it. I'm dead. Just kill me. <laughs> I deserve to die. Okay, so if we put down a stupid statue... Oh, it's gonna do that thing. If we put down a statue... Gonna take forever to load back in. It's gonna summon a bad guy, so I have to put like the appropriate shields up first. Mistakes weren't made. There was no mistake. I didn't like click the wrong thing. <laughs> I just didn't know what was gonna happen. There's nothing mistakey about that. This game takes forever to load. That's my only complaint, is when you die, it takes way too long to get back in the game. Because it's just boring stuff. Okay, let's try this again. So if I put that one down... I'm gonna want to... That was red. Let's enchant... Blue on our gun. I don't know why I looked at it again. Uh, red. This 
still got electrocuted. Still got punched in the butt. Unbelievable. How are you still alive? Why am I losing so much health? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die again. That was terrible. I should have done the shield. Wow, not only is my magic pool low, but my actual healing is terrible. Oh, that's weird. Did that not work? That summoned, hello, that summoned this, but it didn't actually fix anything. Huh. Where are my quick spells? I don't have any heals. What the fuck? That's so weird. So that one doesn't go there. Let's look at the others. This is cool. Uh, a female scholar, her authoritative glare dominates this part of the room. Below the design, a small... Oh, I wonder if I have to do... It might be either their opposite. It... It's either what they're weak to or what they're strong against. Shit. A sorcerer casting a spell. There's an air of authority about him conveyed by his dominating visage. Below the design is a small ledge. It's either going to be... It might be mm, what's good against them. So maybe I should put water here. I don't want to waste too many bullets. That's the problem. What? What? How is this not the rifle? Oh, I have to fucking equip it first. Stupid. Meow. Never mind, we have a ton of bullets. <gasps> Cesario Rose! Welcome back! Thank you for 27 months! Thank you! Gotta get more, more points back. Ugh. No, I should go to full. I'm gonna put blue in front of that one and see if because <laughs> there's there's two options if it's not the same it's either oh they're they're cow cowering though which means I should do what it's good against the description of the thing itself it's yeah it's being destroyed so I should put green here because oh hello blood I still- I don't know if I'm gonna get attacked still, though. I guess we could do a baby shield. Um... Maybe a... Blue shield? Alright, let's try that. So, Charmander is good against Bulbasaur. There we go! Alright, and I didn't get attacked. Sweet. Um, so that means I need to put red here or not. Oh, this is green. God damn it. See, sometimes you just can't do it with your brain. I don't know why I thought I was looking at the blue one. That wasn't so bad. You can shoot a lot faster than you can. And this guy is a not nearly as bad as the red ones. Okay, let's try that again. I wonder if I should look at them now. 
No, they don't say anything different. All right, let's save again. I'm doing a bad job with these. Got the double diddly do. What? That's not what I thought. I thought I was just going to open a door. All right. We lost some bullets, but we have a bajillion of them, so I think they assumed that we would fuck up a little bit. So that's this door. Is there anything over here? Not anymore. There's a wiggler in here, though. We still can't interact with that, I don't think. Do not teleport me! Oh, we're saying my name again, huh? Whoa. Cradled on the stone display, Plinth is an enchanted gladius. Energy writhes across its surface, pulsating through the surrounding air. Oh, thank you, Yuki. I like it too. All right, it's enchanted with green, it looks like. I wonder if it'll wear off. Oh, I can't use it. You got the master sword. <laughs> God, I wish. That would have been nice. Thank you, Broken Quest. The frail human mind was never meant to experience the double diddly do. It's just like Suikoden. This gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This unique weapon can only be wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Light. That's gotta be Alex. Hmm. Because she has a gladius. Um, only... Guardian of... Yeah, it's gotta be her. Friend, thank you for gifting us up to Finny Mac. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, so I can't have it, but that's okay. Hmm, that's strange. That's all that's down here. There is a ladder back there. Um, we could try a couple spells. Just one of each? Why not? What did you want two magic swords? I did. I did want two magic swords. Oh, you know, maybe I'll get a purple? Wait, impervious to... No, it just says damage. I don't think there's any harm in just trying these. You know, they probably aren't gonna work. Alex is the protagonist of a Final Fantasy. I like Alex. Okay, I used these to get a sword. That I can't use. And I can't go in there. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And I don't think I have the power to get through here. Unless I'm supposed to use... 
No, but it shows we've gotten rid of stuff like this before. Your playthrough inspired me to another of my own, which is Twitch working correctly. This time with notes, Karkle notes. Infinity issue, thank you for solving. And thank you for saying that. I hope you're having fun too. I'm uh, I'm having a great time with this game. It's a period to, impervious to damage, so I really don't think I'm supposed to be using the big monster. It's a blast and perfect time of the year. That's perfect. I'm really glad. Yeah, I thought I was going to open this, but instead I opened this. But we picked it up. But it's not for me. It's for someone else, so I guess we have to go back. Maybe there's another door that I missed. Well, I can't go this way. I just came from there. This doesn't appear to be a door. Unless... This is not a door. It would be on the map. I hope. This game story had a literal sanity effect on me because I became infatuated with this universe. It is very cool. Again, I love, I love how it's got dark cloud style. Here's a completely different character. Use their different tools. And then the time travel aspect, the linking of all these stories, how you never know if someone's like dead dead because we've had multiple dead people come back which is fucking cool and the spooky stuff was only spooky in the beginning it hasn't been as bad now it's been more of like oh god how do i deal with this all right are you gonna come out of here no so this is where i got the thing so i was meant to go in a circle Oh, I didn't have to go back at all then. What was that? Wait a minute. There were two... Hmm. Yeah, that's where we went back. So I didn't have to do that. Alright, let's just keep exploring. Where's the ladder? I think this room is leading to the bad room. Hey, Neurokip. This is apparently nothing, which doesn't make sense to me. It looks like a thing. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous. I really like the narrative structure of the game. I think I would have loved to see this game done as purely adventure with no combat, but that's wishful thinking. No, they've always got to put goddamn combat. Not that I don't like the combat. It's, it's fun. It's just stressful. Me lost. <laughs> Sir, climb. What? Why is it blue in here? Oh, because uh, I left this. All right, maybe we just do a little bit of murdering. Me this thing is really big. Oh, it's way bigger than the others. I can't even reach it. I can't reach it. It's too high. That's really bad. All right. I'm ignoring you. Oh, hello. Why are you making weird wet sounds? What happened to you? Are you dead? Oh, it killed you. This is where we started. 
Man, I wasted so much magic on this. I guess I'm not supposed to go back to the beginning. But those all lead to the same shit. I don't get it, it's all looping. Hmm. Well, crud. I must have gone the wrong way. I don't even think it's hitting. Oh, that one did. It's just so big compared to the other ones. I can't hit it with my axe. That's the problem. And if I stand there, I'm gonna get stabbed. Oh, it's draining my health now. That's, oh, cause my sanity's gone. I really like to kill this thing. Please die. I have to reload. Man, that's fucking brutal. Would you mind dying, please? How much health could you possibly have? Fucking seen this? Too tall to hit with my axe, by the way. Fucking Christ. What a jerk. Hey, buddy. Thanks for hanging out over here. Alright, at least that's out of the way. And I changed the color of this place. I don't know if full clearing this is important. It might be because I'm not sure where to go. It's your least favorite enemy? Yeah, I do not like them. I think they're terrible. That one being so high that I couldn't hit it with my axe was very upsetting. All right, we're still good on ammo. I don't think that's particularly fair. All right, healed that. Get some sanity back. We don't need a lot of it, so it's probably fine. Fuck the jellyfish boss. That was, I still think, the worst, like the lowest point in the game. Because it was just stupid. <laughs> It wasn't even particularly hard. It was that there was like a weird little gimmick. Maybe I need to go back to the glowy room. Like if you knew exactly where to stand, of course it would be easy. But if you stand anywhere else, you can't hurt it. Cause the, the magic is like really, really particular, which is strange. All right, here's this room. I wonder, can I reflect off of a different one? Oh, I can't interact with this now. Okay. I don't see anything in the walls. There is a wiggler here. They're fine. They're having a great time. 
Oh, hello. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, this is the room with the two of them. I wonder if they'll fight each other. Shit. I was gonna say, it might be that we just need to kill them. Are they gonna attack each other? No, they're only attacking me. When the stomp happens, that's when the lightning is coming out. That's what I have to watch out for. Stomp, lightning. I don't know why I attacked the other one. Lightning. Stomp, lightning. Stomp. No, I'm very close to you, lightning! Shit! Reload, 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 reload. Can't target you. That's not fair! They're wombo comboing me, it's not fair. That's illegal. Stop lightning. Eat shit. Eat shit. Finish. Stomp. Lightning. Gun. Why did I go so close? We were one hit away from killing him? Unbelievable. I shouldn't have gotten hurt. Let me slice you. But axe. Okay. I killed everything in this room and nothing happened, which is bad. Oh no. This is nothing. Is this anything? No. What about these beautiful lions? No. Game! Jerk! <laughs> Ugh. Alright, let's just go down one. I don't remember where I came in from. I spun too much. Hello, anybody down here? This is this place. Arg, fine. Go back. See, this is why full clearing is important in this game, I think. Because you never know when they're gonna make you go back or when you're gonna get lost and need to go back through a terrible room. Unless... I'm not supposed to... Hold on. I'm gonna try something dumb, but if they're making me do a trapper again, I'm gonna be very disappointed. This is purple, though, and I don't... Purple doesn't have a thing, a counter or whatever. Son of a bitch! Is exactly what I didn't want it to be! <laughs> I hate you, game! Why would you do that again? It's the worst mechanic! <laughs> you know what's sad? I couldn't target it as him. But I could target it as the stupid trapper. Whatever. I solved it. Oh. Hi. Okay, just, just take me home. Gross. Purple, please. Blue works. Where's the stomp? 
stomp electricity. Jerk, jerk, jerk. Stomp electricity. All right, all right. I figured out how their magic comes out now, at least. That's going to help us not take damage. Huh? What is that? I'm physically sending them to the trapper zone. It's here now. So that's the dead guy from in front of the door. Duh. Hi, buddy. No, thank you. Oh, that was close. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool consistency, I guess. <laughs> They're roommates. God damn it. I do like how the World War I corpse and now the huge stone here li live in harmony. I had no idea. I had a feeling he was from that time. But I didn't realize that I was... That was the same one I put there. Wait a minute. No! There was something. Can I have the spell first? I think this is the last one. A shrine fashioned from disinterested... Oh... Disinterred human remains stands at the far end of the room. Resting in the arms of the bone trestle is a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings. Bind. Bind? That's what this is? Okay. This is the one we couldn't figure out what it did. We just knew we needed to um, target a creature. Protect creature? Maybe it's a shield? That's all the spells! Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, a note is scribbled on this scroll. It reads, This magic enables the caster to bind a creature with magic, forcing it to ally with them! <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 that's much more helpful. It's like charm creature. Okay. All right. Uh, let's try to do it from on the other side of this. I don't know if we can. Because then they can't attack us, maybe? Bind. Cast. Big. Uh, green? Did it work? Are you gonna attack him? Are you gonna attack that one? <sighs> no! A shield of glowing energy blocks Mike's progress forward. Two creatures are behind the energy field, energy shield, and appear to be generating the field itself. What? Kill the other one. Andrew the Archon Seldorakron. This isn't working. Ow. What? <laughs> Thank you, Casual. Well, it didn't do anything. I'm not actually controlling it. And it did something to that one. The one on the right, but it didn't actually do anything. So close to three years. Also. Glad to see you get past one of the worst designed bosses in gaming. <laughs> also, also, needs more Paragon. Paragon. Thank you very much, Birthday Shark. Thank you for 28 months, first of all. And second of all, yeah, that boss sucks. And I, I know you know exactly which one I'm talking about. Well, this is stupid. Um. Hmm. Maybe I need to do it twice to control them both, but I have, like, no magic power. So we have to run in a circle and wait. Three years is practically four years. I think maybe I have to... I thought I would bind one of them and then it would attack the other one, but it just kind of roared and then stood there. And it said... It says, rather, 
The two creatures are behind the energy shield and appear to be generating the field. So I think I need them both to die. I think I need enough mana to do it twice. Let's um bind it maybe. Assign. Oh, no, I did green. Maybe you need to do the same. Let's try to do the same actually. Cast bind blue. Are you my friend now? That didn't seem to do anything either. And I don't see why it would be red. You've only been able to pop in for a few moments. For a moment. For a few moments, I can read. But I hope you're enjoying this game. I do how alive the game makes the history feel through the different pro tags. I love it. I think it's fantastic, and I'm glad it's not scarier. Because then I probably wouldn't be able to appreciate what the game is doing as much. I'm doing the Oh! No, that is the biggest one I have. No, it's not. Hold on. Maybe it needs to be stronger. It needs to be stronger, I think. Bankerok and Aratok. I think it's just not strong enough. probably gonna take all of it this guy has like no magic yeah i think he's just resisting it because i wasn't do the, doing a big one bind cast big one green there we go Ooh. yeah so it just wasn't enough Thank God, they both died. You're both dead, right? Oh, that one's... Are you not dead? You're not dead. Uh, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just stand there, please. Eek! Okay. All right, we did it. We did it. Everything's fine. No, don't check it. Equip it, you dingus. I know, my guy wasn't a very good fighter, I guess. I think I would have had to kill him eventually anyway, though. As you do. With everything you summon. Your only issue is that it seems we get great story, but at the expense of them kind of leaving the main gal behind. Oh no, I, I, like, I like her part in the story. I think it's cool. Huh? A block of explosives probably left over from the war. What the fuck? I don't think we should be touching this. bridge oh there's tentacles under there okay voice a formed lump of c4 plastic explosives the detonator simply needs to be added and the charge will explode at a present a preset time of three minutes take to underground bridge i have not found that as him yet though I like to call them Wiggly Boys. I disagree. I mean, maybe. I actually might have called them that. So, did you notice? Blue, red. The symbols are down here, too. Green. I did just save. Yes, I did. Uh, our healing's okay. I will might do it anyway. Well, we have all the magic. That probably is a good sign that we're getting close. Alright, now that I'm full, I'm going 
to save again. <sighs> Who put those explosives there and how did they get past the monsters? That is a good question. I assume the monsters were born after the war. That doesn't make any sense. The question is, how the fuck am I supposed to get to that new zone? No idea. Oh, don't go back down. I still can't believe that I moved the plinth into the trapper zone. That's so stupid. That's this. We don't need this. I'm just glad I didn't get stuck on it again. If I did, I'd be really bummed. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't see another way that way, so. If the monsters could have guns, I would be so screwed. Yeah, my biggest issue now is I don't know how to get to the next place. I know that that exists. I've seen it as different people. I've died there. <laughs> but... Do I need to get sucked down? Hello? Guys? Zombies with guns. Doom music starts playing. I've never played Doom, but people talk about it all the time. Lee played it, I think, recently-ish, and said that it gets less scary the longer you play it, which just sounds nice. Maybe we'll do that for a Halloween game at some point. It does seem kind of Halloween-y. It's like demons and aliens and some or something. Oh, okay. Hold on. Is there really nothing there? I hate these two. I really hope I'm not supposed to kill them. You're being so mad at the ending of the monk's story, even though you've always wanted something like that to happen. Yeah, that was the one where he just got stomped on. Like, you see a boss and you're all ready and you have a bunch of ammo and then he just fucking dies. <laughs> then again, when you do go to fight that thing, it sucks shit, so... You don't really want to fight it anymore. Wait a minute. going. Just gonna wander till we find the right thing again. Doomstream next Halloween? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll add it to the list. Now, did anything change here? You'd think I'd be able to take this horrible... Hmm? This horrible tower down. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's just normal. Can I put the C4 here? Wait, mix? What am I supposed to mix it with? Michael can't use that now? You can't use that now. Man, I'm kind of bummed. I thought those statues were like a bonus thing I was getting. It's more hype and weirdly chill and atmospheric. I think it would probably scare me. And I think the vibes are right. <laughs> Alright, we just gotta keep going. Hope we find it. Yeah, I have, um, we have a couple of the games for next year already because we obviously didn't play everything this year. <laughs> we ended up not getting a lot of joke, not joke games. It's not like they are jokes, but we didn't get a lot of like, haha, we're gonna play this for a bit and it's definitely not a game you beat games. <laughs> 
Not many of those this year. Actually, none. We've played full length. Oh, he's actually tired. We've played big full length games this year. Silent Hill. Kadalka. Castlevania. This. Marathon is one of the only games we've ever gotten motion sick for. I didn't know you've ever gotten motion sick from a game. Rain's like impervious to all sickness all the time. That's kind of scary. I was watching Lee play more Spyro this weekend and I realized I was looking too closely and I got, got nauseous. <laughs> I felt very stupid. I was like, you know better. Why did you look? <laughs> he was doing cool flying levels and I was very impressed. And then I was like, oh, I don't feel very good. Of course you don't. They were the remasters. It was like the remaster of the second one. I figured since I can't play them, I might as well look at them now. Can I target this? Like I might as well watch someone else play. Because I don't get to have fun with it. But even watching it, even with the remaster, with the new camera, it's still just like... <laughs> Why are we so close? And I did a circle again. The fuck? Yeah, so I can really only listen, which is such a bummer. But I ended up having to stop watching on yesterday? Saturday? <laughs> I think it was Saturday. All right, we just have to keep trying to go forward then, I guess. There's gotta be something that I missed. This looks like something, but it could also be nothing. <laughs> I can't target it. If you could target it as him and not have to be a trapper to target the things you need to trapper, then it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Puzzle-wise. Alright, let's peep down here. Maybe there's something else. So, I had plans to change my schedule. Um be slightly less next month but twitch so twitch sends us like the ads incentive things now and they actually make a really really big difference at least for me on like how much i can survive <laughs> wait what is this um each month and they want me to stream like a lot of hours. And I was like, well, I can't do that if I change my schedule to what I want to change it to. So I don't know if we're going to be changing the schedule right away. I don't know. We'll see. But depending on how I math it out, I think in November my hours are going to change a little bit. Stuff's going to move a around. Not a ton, but a little bit. I was thinking about it again this morning. An innocuous paneled wall caps this end of the room. It's conspicuously empty by comparison to the other walls of the room. Can I... Reveal invisible didn't fucking work. Um, let's try all the other ones. It can also be Dispel Magic. Pain in my ass. <laughs> Only one game has ever made you motion sick, and it was because your controller glitched and you were stuck spinning. Oh, of course, we had to do green. I should have known. 
Yeah, that sucks. Sometimes when um sometimes if I'm in the room when Rain is playing Final Fantasy fourteen, he'll just and he does this with a lot of games, he'll just sit there spinning his camera around himself. And if I'm in the room I'll be like, Stop <laughs> I'm gonna get sick if I watch that. Get out of here. Alright, before we go in here. It's technically lunchtime. <laughs> So I'm going to go take a break because I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen when we dynamite this thing. And I don't want to get stuck playing for like an hour with like weird shit happening. Um, now that I'm unstuck. So I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to eat some food. I have leftover Indian, which is exciting. Um, it's really good. It's um, tikka, um, paneer tikka masala. It's yummy. You got your COVID and flea shot just now. Love it when I get a super nurse. I can't even feel the needle. That's great. The last one, I usually have really, really good nurses for, um, like, f uh, well, phlebotomists are usually really great because I got good veins. Wait, wait, wait. Why wait? I'm hungry. <laughs> me, me hungry. <laughs> we have no rice? Bitch, why don't we have any rice? <laughs> Did you eat all the rice? Anyway, when I get to, got went to get my last one, what, last week, the week before? It hurt so bad. <laughs> she also left a really big bruise and was kind of mean to me. <laughs> I tried to ask her questions and she wouldn't answer them. And she wouldn't sign my card. I had to get someone else to do it. She's like, we don't do that anymore. And then I looked over and Reigns was getting signed. And I was like... Anyway, caused sanity damage. Whatever. I'm still going to go eat something. I guess I'm not allowed to have my Indian food. I'll be right back. Everyone bully him. I'm not going to play the music because there's already music. It's just bad. Okay, bye.
Wow, wow, wow. Holy crap. That's a lot of channel points. <laughs> hey. Thanks for sticking around. I ate ramen instead. What the heck? The ad stupid ad thing says it's running, but it's not supposed to be. And on a different one, it doesn't say it's running. So I guess I'm just going to hang out and hopefully no one's getting stupid ad right now. <clears throat> it's fine. If I can't have Indian, I can have something. Hello, hello. I also ate an Oreo. One Oreo with no milk. <laughs> but it was good. If you only do the one, it's actually kind of good. How close are we? 79% oh we're definitely gonna get to costumes that's good because rain and i bought some accessories yesterday at spirit halloween was that it i thought i heard a cat it's not a cat it's a husband in the hallway <laughs> yeah we went to spirit halloween and got some stuff yeah accessories what could that what could it be how does one eat only one oreo what you do is you eat it very slowly, and then it feels like so much Oreo. I usually nibble at the ends first. Good old hallway husband, that's him. All right, we're about to go into the scary room. You know, the least he could have done was get his mana back while I did that. Is that a squishy enemy sound? Or is that me? It's me, I sound like a squishy enemy. <laughs> yeah, sure. I thought I just heard a legendary rain chuckle. You did. He was in the hallway. Eat one slowly while you inhale the rest whole. <laughs> I used to be able to eat like a whole sleep of Oreos like it's nothing, but lately I haven't been able to eat a lot at once. I don't know why. I don't know what's on the other side of this door, but it was hard to get to, so. We need to blow up something. Where's my notebook? Brought it, brought it out there. <laughs> Got it. I was using it while I ate to do some math to see if the schedule changes that I was going to do were gonna work with the, the ads schedule that Twitch wants me to do next month, and it doesn't, so nothing's changing. Hmm. Rest in peace to my sanity. I love how there are people who are very meticulous in the way they eat Oreos. I'm like curvy, I just shove them in my mouth. I do have specific ways. I mean, I like to dip them in milk, personally. Um, so that's pretty much it. One Oreo, e Oreo easy, read the back of the box and see the calorie count. Hey, Oreos are vegan. They're great. Sitting on the porch drinking coffee watching the rain come down. I know. Isn't it beautiful today? Well, beautiful if you're like us and you love the rain. Oh my god. Thin Mints. So I was a Girl Scout for nine years. Thin Mints and Samoas are like the shit. Um, there was a new one when I was in high school that was like a lemon, a tart lemon one. They're all very different now, though. They've made a bunch of new ones. But the mints and Samoas were our favorite. You like the peanut butter ones? I'm not a big peanut butter person. How did you get down here? Detonator caps for C4 plastic explosives. Handle with care. Oh! Okay. I sure will, probably. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Well, we have detonator caps now. <clears throat> oh, detonator sold with an O at the end. I did not know that. These electric detonator caps will transform a package of otherwise safe C4 plastic explosive into a primed bomb. They have a built-in timer. Okay, we're not doing that yet because I don't want to blow myself up. Thank you, sir. All right, this is the part where you have to... Yeah, we've been here before. 
We have to shield and run. Why does it look yellow, though? I'm sure it's fine. Shield, biggest one, green. Anchor green is our friend. Tagalogs? Yeah, Tagalogs. Man, it's nice having a real shield. I don't want to die. Oh god, we're here. Um, hold on. Is this cliff still- <gasps> I scared myself. You spend 60 bucks on importing US candy and you look forward to it? I hope you like it. Um, oh. I know... Some people that aren't from the US hate how... Sweet or like, I guess chalky is what someone said? A lot of U.S. chocolate is, but I hope you like it. Oh, am I just gonna die? Okay. It's time. Mix. I have assembled a C4 bomb. Use. Even with all the explosives, there is probably enough to bring down the city. There must be a way of making it more powerful and increasing its damage potential. Aw, oh, fuck off! Oh! Oh, I know what they want. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, I know what they want. I've gotta- I've gotta enchant it, I think. Do I have magic back? Alright, uh, let's enchant the bomb with green? It's <laughs> letting me do it. Thank you, Lord Viper Scorpion. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you for 19 months. Alright, enchanted. Wait, examine? For centuries, evil has been channeling through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness. Someone must end this madness. A bomb placed here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Let's fucking do it. Mike has activated the bomb's timer. The countdown has begun. Almost in answer, a deep, low rumbling begins to reverberate through the dungeon. Mike has three minutes to escape the Forbidden City and get to safety. I hate you, game. Nope. I am not fighting any of this shit. Uh, why is this open? I'm not fighting this stuff. Oh, he's going crazy. That's good. Oh. Um, what are we looking at, game? Just get me stuck in a circle? Hello. Oh my fucking god. Okay, shut up, lady. Please don't go while I'm in here. Where's my map? <gasps> oh god! Okay, we must have made it. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show up. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know, you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am, and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. 
Only in privacy. Harry can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? He must leave now, but there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find him. Good luck. Thanks, Mike. Mike lived so far. That's surprising. I thought 100% he was going to get, like, I don't know. <gasps> Uh-oh. Letting the modern people live is surprising. The ancient people dying. Yeah, it would have to happen eventually. <gasps> oh, I know where to go. Uh, I know where to go. All right, that one was much, much easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, hold on. I ran my heart for me to run around the other room. just said sounded like nonsense but the heart rate monitor is uncomfortable so I take it off during lunch I gotta turn it back on it's just frozen we're just hey yeah reconnecting sure is ladies and babies screaming there we go it's back. Sorry about that. <sighs> Alright, we've saved. Um, are you magic? Hmm. Alright, I know where to go. My sanity is zero. <laughs> sure. Fuck it. Let's just go with it. They want me to be at zero, I'll be at zero. I, I don't know if I'm going to get a bad ending if I play this with zero. Or if I need to be high or something. Okay, I don't like the sound of some girl getting flayed. We're going to turn it up a little bit. That was really bad. Oh, unless there's there might be a consequence to doing it. Oh, I'm just gonna recover it. I'm just worried that if I'm not sane that I'm just gonna die like my ancestors and I really don't wanna lose. <laughs> I guess I could save before Well, I don't know when it's gonna happen though, but we've gotta be close. Oh look, I can actually see where it's going. It's incredible. That explains why at the beginning of the game I had no idea what was going on. That's too high. Did that go lower? Oh, I can lower it myself. Uh -huh. Can I move this? No. Wait. A globe cradled in a wooden frame, its glossy surface is painted in the likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated in the northern hemisphere above a label that reads, There be dragons here. <sighs> what? Oh. Good like that. Yeah, it seems a bit more stable. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, right, the thing in the basement. <gasps> Where is that going? I feel like I'm helping it. I swear to God. Um. Okay. Like I'm doing the wrong thing. But no, the right because I'm summoning a different ancient to help, and I also don't have the other one. But I'm definitely gonna have to summon Zelatoth to be good against. Bulbasaur beat Squirtle. We need Venusaur. Okay, that's in the basement. What? <clears throat> a package wrapped in brown paper has been left inside the fucking door brown paper parcel you didn't order door dash <laughs> the fucking commercial <laughs> um hmm Brown paper packages tied up with string. Thanks, Fractal. I've been in a very Christmassy mood lately, even though it's literally about to be Halloween. A parcel wrapped in brown paper. It is not addressed to anyone and appears to have been wrapped in a hurry. There might be something inside. Shall I open it? Oh, but I thought that's what I was just getting in the basement. They just sent it through the mail? Okay. Well, I have them all now. <laughs> Talk about a fucking twist. All right. We officially have the Black Heart of Manturok, the Claw of Chaturga, and the Sigil of Zolotov. And that stupid asshole has the other thing. <gasps> oh! And the... Enchanted Gladius. This Gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This unique weapon can only be wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Light. I can fucking equip it. Chaturga's claw glows with an unnatural blood-red aura, seething with a restrained violence. Alright. Magical blade. I hope I'm supposed to have high... I'm gonna start saving over these. Yeah, I have all the Pokemon. I'm playing Pokemon Yellow. Where's my Pikachu? Hey, any bad guys down here? Thus enters Deus Ex Machina. Thank you, Serge. Oh, boy. With the lid removed, some kind of well-like entranceway is revealed. A ladder leans down into the murky darkness. Was this Edward's route into the Guardian City? Shalix climbed down. Yeah. What? There's a ladder up. Where does this go? Alex cannot climb this ladder because the shaft above has been sealed, perhaps by Maximilian Royvis all those years ago. No, it was probably sealed by the people who put him in the crazy bin. Very, very fucking evil those people were. Then again, he did kill all of his servants, who who may have been bone people. You ordered an enchanted Gladius on Wish and just had shitty, <laughs> shitty LED lights making it glow. What? What a disappointment. Does that make Mantarok Pikachu? Oh, maybe. Mantarok seems more like... Because the original protagonist Pokemon was going to be Clefairy. So maybe it's more like Clefairy. 
As the tome had suggested by Edwards and Maximilian's words, the city exists and is far more incredible than Alex had thought. Here are the ruins of Enga, the corpse city, parasitized by the guardians of Ulioth. Nine great towers dwarf this surroundings building, the surrounding buildings. It would appear these towers serve as some kind of focusing array, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. But we dispelled this. I'm pretty confident this is the first time Antrog has been compared to Clefairy. <laughs> yeah, it's a very pretty JPEG. I heard the corpse city is lovely this time of year. It really is. Thank you, Broken Clefs. This has got to be the end. There's no way there's other chapters now. I'm really glad that last one was so easy. Even if it did include a lot of running. Buy things. Oh, pain floor. Oh, they're all locked again! Come on, Grandpa! Um... Shit? Choo-choo. <laughs> How did you do it again? <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you for starting another hype train. That is very sweet of you. Okay, we don't have a map of this because we've technically never been here before. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Guess we're shielding. She's so much more magic. Let's go. I hope that door's open. If not, we're in deep shit. That looks like a shield. Um, okay. Uh, dispel. Big one. Oh god. Are you kidding? That's not fair. I'm dead. I can't. If you're wondering why I'm not healing myself, I can't while I'm on this floor. It interrupts you. Okay. So... It's gonna take forever to load back in. Clefairy and Mantrock are pink, pinkish flesh things. They are. It's true. That's really annoying. Add that to the list of tee It's it's just annoying that this game has. I'm just gonna have to do a faster. Well, I don't know if the faster one will work. We'll try the faster one. Hurry up. It sucks because once you're once it doesn't work, you're screwed. Oh, I'm not going back up here. Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna click on everything just in case. <laughs> Yeah, the sword's very cool. I'm actually really happy that I picked blue because green is my favorite color. So this lets me be green. Uh, I picked blue because I was like, oh, if this was Pokemon, I'd probably pick Squirtle. <laughs> but I thought that was me, um, not the bad guy. So do I have a favorite Halloween candy? Uh -huh. She's tired. I'm not a big candy person. I like Milky Way bars. They're okay. I can have one of those every once in a while. Um, I also like um, Thousand Grand bars are really yummy. Twix are pretty good. Please let me save in here. Okay, good. Um, if somebody, like, put a tray of candy corn in front of me, I'd probably eat a couple of them. I don't think they're great, but they're not awful. Yeah, I've got to do this one over there. I 
I like just missed the timing or something. Come on. Come on. It didn't go off. It went off. Oh my god. Let me in. It didn't look like it went off. It even let me move. I don't care. Um, friend, friend, thank you for gifting us up to Big Pharma. Thank you. Ow. That was scary and I hated it. But we did it. What about $5 worth of Butterfingers? I will never eat Butterfingers again in my life. I ate $10 worth of Butterfingers because we both bought them. Green is your favorite color and you had to fight green? That sucks. I'll eat any chocolate bar that doesn't have nougat. Oh, really? I don't like peanuts, which is why Snickers are like, ugh. They make my, they make me cough. I might be allergic to them, guys. Oh, it's only me. That's gotta be right then. You packed 75 pouches of candy for the little monsters in your neighborhood yesterday. You might have taken a few for yourself. Oh, that's smart. I should do the little packagey thing. I usually just grab a whole handful and shove it in their pouch. And they're always like, really? This many? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, kid. I'm I'm the cool house. It's me, Luigi. We've only been in this house one year. It's me, Luigi, and we're, I'm the cool house. All right. My stuff's back. Let's save again. It's just me. I'm the cool one. All right. So. Oh, this is gone. The podium is heavily damaged, crumbling into rumble and rumble, <laughs> rubble and dust. <laughs> if it is to be used, it must be some somehow be restored to its former state. Okay. These plinths look like the ones Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City, where he found the essences of the ancients. I wonder if I'm supposed to put them here. Yeah, for the mountain 14. Gotta have a chewy, fruity center. Chocolate is okay, but all my faves are stuff like Mike and Ike's and Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish have a good flavor to them. Butterfingers. I like their flavor, but I find them way too sweet. Snickers is so sweet it hurts your throat. Oh, you're allergic to nuts? Yeah, I don't think Butterfingers are very good. Oh, hey, look. Or, yeah, Butterfingers are kind of gross. They mess with your teeth. Part of a broken pedestal top lies on the floor. Give me that. Where's the other one? There it is. All right, that was easy. Another part of the broken pedestal rests on the floor. We're going to do the first mechanic in the game. A friend of mine got me a 10-pack of Hershey's cookies and cream bars. You can never eat them again. I'm not really into white chocolate. <laughs> a piece of broken masonry. It appears to be part of the top of the pedestal. Is this the bottom? No, it's still the top. Okay, mix. Top of a broken pedestal. Enchant. Cast. We'll do green because green is the best. Uh, based one. Or Boste one? Thank you for following. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered your name. I wonder, can I interact with this at all? Can I interact with these before we do this? It doesn't look like it. Okay, good. I don't care much for having nuts in them. Otherwise, you like most chocolate bars. Mm. Snickers and Twix are your favorite. Yeah, I just can't do Snickers. The top of the display pedestal. Other than it not being attached to the rest of the pedestal, it's an excellent condition. Mm -hmm, you're welcome, game. Yeah, dark chocolate has too much caffeine, so it kind of messes me up. Oh, you're allergic to the dye? That sucks. Well, the dye is made of bugs anyway. You can pretend that's a good thing that you're not eating it. I used to love Tootsie Rolls when I was a kid. I loved Tootsie Rolls and Twizzlers. When I was in high school, every birthday or Christmas, people gave me uh, Twizzlers. But I haven't eaten them in years. All right. So let's try to put green here. 
And then this one should be blue. If I'm doing the order right. Wait, I don't have blue. Fine. Well, I know this one's red. Oh, God. I guess I'll put purple here? It let me. Oh, yeah, the Peel Apart Twizzlers were good. They had Twizzlers that were, like, sour. Did you see her examine the sword and hear it talk? An artifact is set upon the plinth, channeling its power to the arrays. Okay, so I just needed three. Long ago, Edward Royvis used the arrays to destroy the denizens of the Guardian City. Alex needs to match the power of the... L Lich? <laughs> and destroy the ancient he plans on bringing into the world. I guess he is a Lich. I don't know why, but I haven't been thinking of him that way. <laughs> I really... I Liches are like one of the scariest spooky concepts, I think. The question is, what am I casting? Oh, it's blue. But I can change that. I'm gonna save again before I go in here. The problem is that floor is so poopy. Um. Shit. Where am I gonna save? Let's save over these two and alternating. Typo, he's actually like him. <laughs> All right. We've got to think about this. I'm technically supposed to be summoning. I think I need to do summon. I think I need to summon like the monster. <gasps> yeah, that's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. So we're going to summon Zelatov. Hopefully. Um... Which means I need to do probably summon creature. If those aren't there, we'll have to redo it though. But let's try it because we already did dispel. It, they already got destroyed. Summon plus creature because we had trapper, zombie, a, a tr troll thing, ghoul, abomination, and this should be big demon lady. So, one, so, we're top. All right, hopefully this works. Okay, this trapper's here. We're probably gonna have to, oh, hello. Do I have to pull these? Oh, interesting. So how do I get out then? Do you want me to go to the chopper zone? Uh, oops, she's tired. Okay, going back. Oh my god. All right, well, as long as the shield isn't up, this should be okay. Okay, I don't think the shield is back. That'd be pretty fucking mean if I had to do this every time. It's really difficult timing. All right. Two. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. Pargon.
I love this game's concept of a whole city to cast player crafted spells. It's kind of fucked up because that means that anybody could have been doing this. You know? <sighs> Given you're really good at notes, I think it's ironic you haven't played more survival Resident Evil type games. Oh, they went away? To be fair, Resident Evil has been on the list for quite a while. It just hasn't been picked yet. <laughs> That's all. Oh, they're invisible. Oh, they're invisible. Oh, they're fucking invisible. Okay, it's fine. <gasps> I thought they just went away. How bad is it in here? Pretty bad. Purple, please. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. You dare. Okay. Man, it's so funny that the fucking stone thing is there now. Wow, that is strong, this sword. Don't touch me. Wait, I don't think my sanity was even going down. Let's do it again. It's gonna make you go faster. <laughs> For one of them, you're immune because the old hit is still happening. So it's every other. Okay. That's two. I can't believe I'm in here again. I really thought we were gonna destroy the whole thing. I was hoping this game would win the poll, but Resident Evil would also be fun. I'm gonna play Resident Evil one year. We're gonna run out of scary games and the wheel's just gonna be Resident Evil. Hard on again. I'd really like to play Resident Evil. I have the original one in the big weird box. <laughs> so I'm excited. We'll play it someday. What? <laughs> Imagine. Oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Imagine what the city underneath your mansion is currently doing to your property value. Recently upgraded mansion with new basement furnishings. Ancient 2,000-year-old ruins under foundations. Recently listed for sale in Rhode Island for $3.8 Former owner died in house. Might be haunted. Exorcism not included in sale of property. It's, it's Rhode Island. It's probably the same as Connecticut and Mass where everything is expected to be haunted. I lived near the Norwich Hospital for a while. Doesn't get more haunted than that. They did a bunch of stupid seasons of those dumb paranormal shows there. Hmm. Wonder if I'm supposed to trap or move them. I can target them, it's probably trappers. Unless. Maybe I need to magic them. Austin, thank you for gifting. Uh, Kaina, so a, a sub. Thank you. I hope you like your bunnies. The wheel is just Resident Evil 6 times Silent Hill 4 is how wins. The first year, the first year, I had Resident Evil on there like nine times and System Shock 2 once. And System Shock 2 fucking won. So. <laughs> I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a VOD of it anymore, but it was pretty crazy. I don't really save the wheel spins because uh, they don't really fit, but... Let's try, this is green. Whoa. 
What? But it was so small. I didn't want to hit the other ones. I mean, so in order to save the wheel spins, I'd have to have saved them as their own thing. So unless somebody clips stuff from them, they don't, some of, most of them are probably gone. Well, the green one's squiggling with green. Because where would I put it? <laughs> you have to put it in like a game category. What game would I attach it to? I don't know. Retro are just chatting. I don't know. Either way, they're already gone. They're gone forever. <laughs> so I can't really go back and get them back. So unless somebody clipped it, then it's gone. Twitch doesn't let you save stuff forever. You have to highlight the specific stuff. And yeah, whatever. I don't want to talk about it. If everyone's going to be depressed about it, I can't do anything about it. It's been gone for two years. The wheel spins are for, for live stuff only. Unless you clip it and then it'll be saved. But that's kind of how all of Twitch works. Let me try... It let me target it and then it stopped targeting it and did the thing and then it died. So that didn't seem to work. But yeah, some, some of them might be in the VODs, but I think most of them are not. Doing this did something. It just wasn't what I was hoping. Maybe if I do the other ones really fast? I don't have the power of purple, so I can't do that. Okay, so hitting all of them doesn't work. It is weird and green now, though. Hmm. There's something in the middle? Wait, what's up here? She's tired. Hold on. Stop panting. I can't leave. The thing with the thing with doing highlights on Twitch is that I can't make playlists anymore because they won't let me. Uh, it just bugs out. Collections, whatever the fuck they want to call them. And if I didn't do it before it expired them, they're just gone forever. And my main priority is um, saving the actual games. I can't do that all at once. Maybe it just needs to be stronger. Maybe if it's stronger, it'll actually go away. Well, the YouTube VODs are just the highlights from Twitch. I'm just sending them over there. So it's, <laughs> I mean, it'll make it easier to find everything. 
And then I won't have to fucking constantly make my own stupid spreadsheets. But it's still very annoying. The whole thing is just obnoxious. It's still hitting all of them. Oh, that look. What? All you had to do was do it stronger? But. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did it get rid of all of them? What? Oh my god, shut up. But I only did. <laughs> oh! You know what? Maybe I had to just get rid of blue because blue's the bad one. It's 2022. We still got basic problems with so many interfaces online. If Twitch would just make, like, the two changes that I'm looking for, make playlists a real fucking thing. <laughs> and, um... Just save VODs. Then... I'd be happy. <sighs> but they won't. Because they have no interest in it and they've said it many times. So that's why I have to have a stupid YouTube now. Kind of fucked up that I'm only coming out of one of these doors. Anyway, this is depressing. Let's stop talking about it. <laughs> Alright, number four. Yeah, there was no way I could beat this game yesterday. Even if I hadn't gotten stuck. Or not yesterday, you know what I mean. <gasps> okay, I do have choices. So we want to try summon and creature. Is it here though? <gasps> yes, I can do summon. I want to try to summon the big green lady. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but it's what we're doing. in here. This thing is still here? A huge stone block etched with bizarre etchings. <laughs> etched with etchings. Dominates the room. Is it art? A memorial? A tomb of the original inhabitants? Or a bastard's in interment of its loathsome conquerors? Hopefully there's no invisible screechy guys. What the fuck? Why is it? Hey, I wasn't on that. Why is there another poop floor? Yeah, fuck you, game. <laughs> I almost ran around that. Don't make me go down there. Shoo! Jerks. Alright. I think there are invisible dudes in there too. Travers. I feel like this floor should be squishy sounding on her feet. Oh fuck. Go, 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 go. I realize that the ancients must have had big problems with flies and cockroaches in their tunnels, but I still think this is overkill. Thank you, Fractal. This is probably another Pargon. Yep. I 
If summoning a giant green lady is wrong, I don't want to be right. I guess kind of same. Notice it's not glowing anymore. The blue glow must have been from the enemies. If Alex wants to go somewhere oh. after this, she can just summon a car gone. Thank you, Wombat. Oh boy. Okay, we've got to get these to kill each other. Oh, they're looking at me. Turn around, boys. Um. So. Bind, cast, big one, green. Good luck. Job. Next. Oh, good. I'm glad that my die mine dies immediately every time. Oh, come on. This sword should be strong enough to kill it. What the hell, man? Crazy sword. Work. One eight seven seven Pargon for kids. Boo! Oh god. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, we did it. Thank you, Sarge. Hail of Queen, welcome. Oh shit! You have a Pargon rune. That is so cool. <laughs> nice emote. Well, welcome, welcome. Owie, I got hurt. Gross. <gasps> oh my god, you have them all. Damn, those look really good. That's really kick ass. Alright, there better not be any more over here. Alright, we lived. Even though all of all of my my dudes died. I remember this shitty room. No fucking way. Let me save. I am not going in there <laughs> and dying. I almost stepped on it. All right. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, so we're just going to run and hope we're right. Oh, I think it's just straight ahead. All right. I hear wigglers though. I've had this dream on in the background the entire time, but I don't know <laughs> the game and I still have no idea what Pargon means. Yeah, Boots is right. Pargon means Pargon. <gasps> Wombat, thank you for gifting us up to Ripdor. That's very nice of you. Thank you, thank you. Can't believe I had enough to do this. Surge, thank you for gifting us up to Elf Queen. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, the game the game tells you in the menus what they all mean. Uh... Save again, because I'm scared. And I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Alright, so this should be six. It's probably gonna be another Pargon. Oh, hello. Oh, we're just going. I don't care. Yeah, I won't click on it, but as long as it's not something gross. Please let me in. care about you. Kill yourselves! Pardon. Oh shit, I thought it reached me for a second. You're still here. 
Shoo. Why is it so quiet? Is this one free? What the? God damn it! What? Okay. Huh. I should have done water. I don't know what I'm doing. How many sanity attacks have you found? Um, not that many, I don't think. Uh, they tried to turn my TV off. I had a room where I was slowly sinking into the floor. They tried to turn my volume down or up. I don't remember. Um, I've been upside down. I've had ammo all over the floor. I've had my body parts slowly flop off until I died. Yeah, we had bugs all over the screen. There we go. It was green. We had... Huh. Those are the ones I remember the most. Yeah, once I was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That was weird. Anyway, please don't tell me of any more. <laughs> I don't want to know. The only thing I want to know about this game is what the game tells me. Please and thank you. Alright, we're getting there. Very slowly. Slowly but surely. Once I accidentally hit my keyboard and it pulled up something in Streamlabs and it freaked me out. <laughs> that was pretty good of the game to trick me into doing. Okay, so here's... We need it to have creature. Let's have creature. Alright. We can do a giant summon creature. It's gonna let us do it. I'm fairly sure based on what the game has done... This means we're gonna summon a big green angel lady? <laughs> Hopefully she fights the big blue. Um. Maybe I should have just like powered myself up, but I'm pretty sure this is what the game wants. Or that wasn't so bad. I might have enough shield to get back. Cause this isn't so far. I'm just gonna do it again. I don't wanna mess up now. Oh, I have this on. I have a shortcut. I forgot a name. Alright, two more, I think, and they should both be Pargon. I still say we summon a nine point trapper. That's not how it works. The more Pargon, the different the creature. That's why I'm thinking this will summon her. Because we have trapper, zombie, horrible thing. Hopefully big lady. That's the hope. That's what I'm trying to do. Whether it'll work is up in the air, but if it doesn't work, we can go change them, I th think. And I have a save before we started any of this, so worst case scenario, I can fix it. One more after this, that'll be nine. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, purple. Huh? Oh. Do you want these? All right, this is interesting. Blue little guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, it does fit. Oh, this is the zoo? Oh. Interesting. That's kind of cool. It's kind of fucked up, though, that I'm putting them back in the zoo. I feel scuzzy. You're just a flesh zombie. You don't mind, right? As long as you're not eating me. This is running speed. <laughs> <laughs> Go, buddy. Alright, enjoy your imprisonment. And then we need blue big guy? Blue big guy. Don't fight me, please. I don't want to die. I'd be nervous if I had to summon to summon this thing. I'm nervous about a lot of things that are happening in this game. She hates me because I'm making her run. She doesn't have enough stamina as our cool firefighter. Way more magic in every other stat though. It's gonna be okay. Thank you for going forward and not being behind me like the other two. Clonk, clonk. What? Are you You fucker. Hey, come here. Is that not blue? That's green. I'm an idiot. <sighs> I already did blue. It was the trapper. Ow. I'm depressed. And stupid. Sometimes it's hard to see, guys. What if I do a really quick burst of go away? Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! Why did I move? I wasn't pressing any buttons. You know, if I cast another one, that one will go away. That's just what I'll do. I just need the magic. Do not stomp at me. Why are you so tired all the time? It's gonna be fine. I'll just make a new one. This one's green. I hate you, game. It looks fucking blue on here. I thought the green tint was for my sword. May I please do it? Thank you. Hey, Hessian. It's my dumbass fault. Hello, green. There we go. Can I have the sanity out of that other one? It's gone. Well, my sanity is fine somehow. Alright, I did the puzzle. <laughs> I did it badly. <laughs> uh, colors are hard, man. Nothing makes you feel dumber than colors in this game. Because you'll know exactly what to do, and then you'll do it wrong and be like, Why did I do that? Fucking floor. Okay. Oh, no. Shortcut. Fuck, I'm nervous. Should be the last one. And it should be Pargon. Hopefully we're summoning a big cool lady. Is that a thing in front of me? You little bitch. Get out of here. 
Cargon. This is it. Come on. Please let me have picked the right thing. I'm gonna go back. Shit. I thought I got past it. It's the stairs. Am I so nervous? I think this sword might be making it so I'm not taking... Alright, let's try that again. I'm scared and I don't want to die. Where the fuck am I now? Oh god. Oh no. I should have saved earlier. Okay, this is fine. This floor looks like shit. Does it hurt me? Why is it vibrating? Oh! Me sanity. It's fine. I can fix it. Eat someone else's sanity, bitch. I'm better than you. What? Okay, fine. I'm not allowed to. Is this a wall? It's a wall. What is that? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Except that she's getting tired and running stupidly. What? Why are we looking over here? Game? Hello? Can I have my camera back? Interesting. But if I recover my sanity, I get teleported back. <laughs> what? What did I just cast? That's damage field. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. I don't want that. So the room makes me crazy, and if I de-crazy myself, it teleports me back up here. My shield doesn't seem to care. I can't do damage magic to destroy that thing. I can't see when it's in sapia like this. I can't seem to attack the monster. Oh, I wonder. Hold on, I think I know. I need to reset it though, which means I need to... Or, yeah, I need the worm to come out. Um, let's try... Hard, sand, hard, hard. 
I wonder if I can trap her it. Alright. Are you gonna teleport me back? Teleport me back. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of things this could be. Hey, little guy. La la la. He gonna come get me? Oh. Well, it did. Are you gonna come get me still? Yeah, it is. Okay, that doesn't work. I thought it would get distracted, but instead it just like... What if we go from here? Sorry, kiddo. I know you're confused. Whoa! 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 Why is this sapia? Okay, I can't see the colors. <laughs> It seemed to just like rip the the right I can't it seemed to just rip the trapper out of my control these are all red ones I don't want to deal with this okay all right so that didn't work Take me home. Interesting. So sending a thing out there doesn't work. Having a shield doesn't seem to work. I wonder if I really quickly damage field? I've never used it, really. It would have to be really fast, though. Hey, look, I'm here. Nope, didn't work. Okay. It's still there. <laughs> it's still there, though. Okay, so that definitely didn't work. It did cast. It is there. I can't seem to make my sanity lower. Why am I looking over there instead of over here? Do you want me to see something? There's a big thing on the wall, but I can't really see it. It's too dark. She's looking at it. Oh, shut up, honey. You're fine. Hey, Austin Dio. Ha ha ha. It's so funny. She doesn't want to run at all anymore. You're not hurt. Stop acting like you're hurt, lady. You're just crazy. Hmm. Well, something's gotta work. Shields? I have shields on. They're not doing anything. Can I... There's no creature, so that doesn't... We've never done a fancy magic pool. I could just do that. Just to get it unlocked. Tear Red Gormor. Maybe regenerate sanity instead of getting it back all the, at once. If I like suck the sanity back. Oops, I didn't actually cast it. So I should slowly regain instead of all at once, but maybe then it'll let me stay here. It's still sapia though. Huh.
Well, the room is becoming more straight, but it's not... helping me see. The fuck was that sound? I didn't know it could float away from me. That's weird. Gonna get me? God damn it! All right, so it's like 75%. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. place with minions that would be an actual nightmare there's something in my inventory I have a bunch of shit in my inventory <laughs> um, nothing standing out to me I mean obviously I've got this but that's not happening But when that thing bites me, I think it's making it so that this isn't actually happening. It's just in my head. So I have to do something preemptively, I think. Big Joe Robert just wants to be your pal forever. I'll be friends with this worm. be friends with the worm. Let's do it from here. We'll try all the big dispels. <laughs> the 3D sound is crazy. Paragon, Paragon, Paragon. Nothing. Nothing. What's on that wall? Can I just go backwards? This is clearly a trick. This is some type of puzzle. I know you've heard it a ton of times, but the haircut on you. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. I actually trimmed my bangs last night, but I think I need to do this part a little bit more. I'm really, I'm really happy with this haircut. What if we go so slow the worm doesn't know I'm here? N oh my god, this might be it. Is it just tiptoeing? funny that explains because you're stepping on the poop on the floor Shh. there's no <gasps> there isn't even a barrier here 
The whole time I just had to be quiet. That's actually a pretty cool puzzle. I like that one. Oh, I should have saved. I can still do it. Alright. Um, let's keep saving over this. We've made our choice. We're gonna try to summon a big lady. Oh my god, you're right. Rock walk without rhythm. I kept attracting the worm because I wasn't walking dumb enough. Alright. Let's see where this takes us. Before you proceed, would you like to see? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. So... We'll make another save. We'll make another save. This is right when we got back. Let's save over this one. So number two is our right before we die, I guess. All right, that has to be a point of no return. All right, Whew. let's fucking do it. I should have put more shield on. Hello? Oh, sh oh we're here. Uh, Miss Rivers, you're just in time. Hello. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my lord, Ulyan. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, pious. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the ancients' essences. Now, pious, this is the end. <laughs> the end indeed. Wait, am I just gonna fight you? Hold on. Oh my, what? Huh? Oh. oh, that's not what I thought you'd look like. Okay, it's not an angel, but... The summoning worked. You shielded him? That's bullshit. Hey, bitch! I got shields too. Yeah. What? Hey, give me that. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, my sanity. Ow, bitch. Oh, you know what I should be doing? Oh, I thought it wasn't gonna let me go in here. He's gonna hit me. I don't know why I tried to do that. Where's the jellyfish? Whoa. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Seems right. What the fuck? Hey, Elia. Excuse me? What is happening? Um... Book? Whoa! Oh, you deserve this. Damn it. Fuck you, I'm Elia. Okay, I'm failing. Oh, I'm back to her! No! Are they all working together to hit him? Uh, 
I'm bad. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, I'm Anthony! Sorry, Anthony. Oh shit, this song's kind of good. I see. I hit them with, with them so I don't take damage. Thank you. Thank you, past friends. Shit. Oh, I messed up a little. Oh, this is so cool. Also, thank you, ever followed. I can't look right now. I'm distracted. Doing the right thing. Ow. I can't tell. I might not be. <gasps> Look, I'm. Oh! Oh, your hits are weird still. It's so hard to aim with you. I don't know why that didn't go away. Don't hit me. I'm probably gonna lose this and have to do it again. But at least I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, maybe almost. Okay, I can't open my menu when I'm these guys. Okay. Maybe I'm wasting time for her? Come on, come on. It worked. Okay, that's better. Try to hit me so I can hit you. You fucker. Oh, she's limping. There we go. Where is it? Wait, is that not happening anymore? Oh, there it is. Oh no. I'm this fucker. Hello? I don't think I need to be hitting him at all. They just respawn themselves. I thought I had to hit him to spawn them, but maybe I don't. Maybe I just need to keep finding them. Excuse me, I'm a grandpa. Yeah, I don't think I have to hit him to get them to spawn. Well, maybe I do. I'm so confused. Is there not another one? Yeah, I do have to hit them to get them to spawn. Okay, I thought I was losing it. Which makes sense with this game. Yeah, because he electrocutes them over there. Finally, you get to do something. Good job, monk. Thank you. 
Thank you, Monk, for taking that hit. Owie. Where is it? It's behind him. Yeah, you suck. S sucked in life, you suck in death. Sorry, Monk Man. Poor Paul. already one up there. I'm so confused. <laughs> Targeting man. It's farts. Ow. Oh, I switched. That's right. I was gonna try to... Can I not hit the missile? No, I can't. So I have to hit him and switch back. So I can hit it with the green sword. No, we hit him. Or not. God damn it, Monk Man. You're ruining my health by being bad. Unable to target anything. completely wrong about how this fight works. <laughs> I can't even pause to like get him to try to hit me. It fucking worked. It worked. Eat shit. Stop it. Why am I you? I might be doing this wrong, but I got a cutscene before. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm doing something. Ow, fuck off! It looks like it's hurting him. Jellyfish. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, she didn't care. No, I don't want to keep going. Hmm. Come on, pass it. Oh, holy shit! Lord Viper Scorpion, thank you very much for the bajillion thingies. Where did he just go? Thank you very much. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Sorry, 
there another jellyfish? Oh, crap. <sighs> it worked! Stop that. I'm actually hitting him. I'm actually getting him. His shield is gone. Oh, my shield's gone. Shit. Well, where the fuck did he go? Get away from me. Stop it. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, because I don't have sanity. Crap. Um. Staff at his fucking hands. Well, maybe I should just be attacking his head. Stop it! <gasps> oh! Finish him? Do I get to finish him? No. He shot himself. A jellyfish. <laughs> what are we gonna do about that thing now, though? Oh, you're still on The darkness is dead. not so easily destroyed. No, my death is just the beginning. <laughs> Hi, Grand Poppy. Quickly, Alex! We must find this creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe! Oh, okay. Um. Bind? Do you mean actually bind? I don't know if he means bind or if he means spell! <laughs> Dispel! Um. Probably bind. Probably bind. Probably bind. Probably bind, which I don't have written down. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's either dispel area or maybe it's just. Oh, fuck. I hate you, game. Good heavens, no. Not that one. Oh. 
Um. <laughs> Nor that one either. <laughs> long since you researched this stuff oh they won't let me fuck it up that's hilarious that's that's great wow <laughs> really not to spell it's the squiggly circle <laughs> you mean this ah that's the this is fucking hilarious. I can't believe they don't let you fail it. It is finally over, my dear. The ancients' plans are finished. For now, <laughs> I don't deserve least, to win. <laughs> you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. Thanks, Ghost Grandpa. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. Yeah, throw that away. As I gazed up at the ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. Yeah. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality. To see those who dwell. I was once a fool. You've overcome the darkness that has prevailed for over two millennia. This accomplishment will begin a new era for humanity. Now, would you like to record this grand occasion of the pages of human history? Yes! Carcalla, Queen of Games. Thank you, Serge. Um, Elf Queen, thank you for following while I was doing that. Lord Viper Scorpion, thank you so much for ten fucking subs, dude. Okay, yes. Save and continue. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> I will read all the lucky sub people when. Oh, that's sad. It's okay. Everybody's a ghost now. Yay, real credits! Ugh. Uh, Lord Viper Scorpion, thank you so much for gifting subs too. I hope it's still here. It is. Um, Robot Cooper, Thordak, Kaitel, uh, or Kaitel, uh, Cobra Coco, Life Reboot, Jung, no, Zungle, Vamp Alley, and, and Daya Brian, Battle Corgi, J Cookie, and Estranged Father Dracula. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, thank you, Lord Viper Scorpion. I did write everything down, but I was like, shit, what it, I don't know what the last, the last spell we got, I didn't write down <laughs> anywhere, like, obvious. Because <laughs> we got the name way late. <laughs> oh, Diddler. Thank you for gifting another 10 subs. Thank you. Look, it's all our dead friends. Uh, thank you very much. Congrats to Weird Zoe, Ordinary Star, Lurking Bones, DBF, Killem, 1301019. Gem City, Silver Saint O, Tony Spike 07, Z Dad 13, and Shifty 50. Thank you, Diddler. Ugh! What a good fucking game! Ugh! The last boss fight was confused. Once again, in the few boss fights that exist, I spent most of my time being like, Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, poor Paul. Floodgates don't help it happen till I say so. It will be very obvious when they happen. Not yet. Yeah, I think Paul had the sad. He just got like stepped on. <laughs> oh. Pius Augustus defeated General Lich and all his. <laughs> oh. I love you, Jennifer Hill. That was David Hader? What the fuck? Excuse me? I didn't notice. <sighs> the bosses could have been a bit more... I, I just needed more visual cues that something was happening. <laughs> just like any type of visual cue to make it seem like I was doing something. At the end, it seemed like something was happening. And I was like, okay, I'm definitely hurting him now. But with the jellyfish, I was like, I'm hitting so many. God, what a weird but charming little game. It was not nearly. People were like, this one's the, you're going to be so scared. This one's really scary. The only scary thing was the fucking bathtub <laughs> and then me running into my own servants and thinking they were people. <laughs> ah, and then it was fine. Yeah. It was just the beginning jump scare that was really bad in the bathtub. And then nothing else was really that scary. You exploding while healing. That happens a couple times, too. Mm. Most of the... Yeah, learning to cure my sanity was really helpful. I honestly thought that she was just going to... I didn't think there was a way to cure your sanity for most of the game. It wasn't until... I kind of put things together later. But I thought that Alex's sanity was just going to drop by increments every single time we came out. And I was just supposed to like live with her being like loopy in the house. I didn't think I could cure any of that. Hmm. Yum. Yeah. There was a fair number of scares early in the game. Yeah, the beginning of the game was really... Yeah, the Bone Thieves were really scary. But when you get used to them and realize you just have to hit them on the head twice, it's not bad at all. Is it... Oh. Um, I don't... I, if Rain... Rain... Slash... Mod... Z... If any of you were there. Um, is it safe to press a button or am I waiting for something? <laughs> Please no one else answer. Eternal Darkness is more scary in theme than in raw scares. Like, all the characters' lives go by and are barely a blip on the Lovecraft and stuff that's happening behind the scenes. It is a very terrifying concept. It's very cool, though. I didn't think that I was going to be so... so enamored with the storytelling style. Um, having you hop into different lives and different time periods is just like incredibly charming i really like that stuff i like being like oh cool what time period am i in oh neat these are the weapons of the time oh fucking kick ass i'm in the same area but it's been a bunch of years what's going on here now i think it's really neat yeah the atmosphere is great it's which is nice because i don't really like actually scary games so that made this very fun we've had some very good atmospheric games you want a shirt with all the runes? <laughs> Maybe one exists. Yeah, multiple characters. I thought that was a really cool way to tell the story. Um, it was kind of the way that the dialogue was... Um, presented made it kind of confusing because they kept using the words guardians and ancients and not really... at the. For the first, like, two-thirds of the game, I was like, so, which one is which? What's happening? Are Guardians good? Are we doing the right thing? So, I don't know. For a while, I was like, aren't I just summoning the same thing? And it's just going to be just as bad. But apparently, my grandfather's ghost made it go away. So, we don't have to worry about it at all. 
Also, holy crap, did the green thing not look the way that I thought it was? When we saw that at the beginning of the game, it explained it as like a, a green angel. That was a star control style alien. 100%. Eyeball, weird hands, cackling voice. It's perfect. Yeah, angel. It was nice that we didn't, uh, if we didn't like a character, we could wait and get, get a different one. Yeah. Biblically accurate Zelda talk. She's lovely. I'm not saying she's not lovely. She's just not what I was expecting. I love a big alien mom just as much as the next lady. Man, I really liked pretty much every world we went into. The only one I think I could live without is the one where you're the dude who eventually gets put in the concrete pillar. I think having to go to all the different areas and just like look around, be like, it's, it's broken. I think it was kind of lame. Um, I wish there was more to it. Like, oh, there's blood dripping from the walls. Gonna have to get that fixed. Like if that was a little more creepy instead of mm, the floor, it's not here. That would have been better. <laughs> What was your favorite time period? I don't know. I was just trying to think of that. I was like going through my notes thinking, what the fuck? What is my favorite time period? I didn't like the location for the Cambodia. I mean, I like Cambodia as a location. I just didn't like the tubes because of, oh boy, now I get to walk really slowly and try not to step on any traps. That was cool the first time. <laughs> and then doing it as as not Indiana Jones was a fun, like, oh, ha ha, tee hee, Indiana Jones, but fuck the bathtub. That was literally the only scary thing in the game. You found, on replays, you found the Temple of Traps to be, chapters to be the most tedious. Exactly. They are tedious, and I don't enjoy that. Honestly, even though it was the hardest one for me, I think the one in World War One was actually very interesting. I really liked... This sounds weird. I liked Anthony's because it was just like him slowly being slurped of all his, his life juice, which was interesting. Oh, thank you, Rain. I gathered. <laughs> Nothing's happening, so I figured I could press a button. Thank you, dear. Two seconds is all they really need to indicate how dire it was. I think... Oh, I really liked most of the locations, though. Almost all of them were great. The o Again, the only one I didn't like was because it disappointed me. Was, uh, Roberto. Let's start again. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think this game is very unique. And I want to thank Cashel again for sending... For sending your copy so that I could play it. That really... Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to play it without you. So thank you. I love how the characters end up in each other's stories. Yes! I was not expecting Elia and Anthony to show up. That fucked me up too. I was like, holy shit. Do we know if anybody's dead? <laughs> and the answer was no. You don't know if anybody's dead. Because apparently they could just come back as ghosts. What else? So, yeah, I really enjoyed most of this. I kind of wish... I kind of wish you couldn't heal Alex's sanity <laughs> so that you had to see the spooky stuff. I guess I could have just not healed myself, but I was nervous that I, there would be, like, really bad consequences or something. Hmm. I have a spare copy without a key, so it's a wee bit scratched up, but still playable. Well, thanks for sending me a cool one. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, so. Um, I liked the game a lot. I loved most of the characters. I thought the gameplay was really cool. I thought how there are like three different types and Pokemon typings. And uh, you had to like learn how to fight each enemy. I wish there were more autopsies. That's something. I think something that I feel was lacking is that I wish... Even if you weren't the main, the autopsy man, Max, I wish that after you unlocked the autopsies, 
and you killed an enemy, it would automatically go in the autopsy and you'd be able to hear him talk about it, regardless of whether you did it as him. And it didn't do that, which is what I was expecting it to do and I would have liked. I also think that having to target things as the trapper is fucking poo-poo garbage and don't like that. It's like, you better, you better know what puzzle you're doing. You're not allowed to figure it out by accident. <laughs> Um, and then I think that that jellyfish boss sucked shit, and I think that the magic is really hard to use. <laughs> Specifically, the magic wave, the, like, magic attack sucks, and I hated that fight. But every other fight in the game was easy peasy, so I guess there had to be a fight that sucked. More autopsy? Sounds like we should play Mortician's Assistant. There are a lot of weird mortician games that are coming out. There's, like, a funky indie one. That everyone's getting like a bunch of endings in. Blah. I really liked how Alex is actively learning new skills from reading the chapters, but it was strange how the autopsy didn't carry over like the others. Yes, I think I was so surprised when it didn't carry over. It felt like it should have, like everything else. I'm gonna try to snooze a stupid ad. Go away. I don't know if it's gonna work. The thing hasn't been responding. Okay, it didn't actually snooze it. Fuck me, I guess. It used my thing, though. Ulioth is an interesting agent. Chaturga is more awesome. Chaturga is apparently... The little description said it was a red-looking worm, so I didn't want anything to do with it. I don't like worms. The penny fuse thing nearly caused Teenage Me to throw the GameCube out the window. <laughs> uh, I, that wasn't that... I did get stuck on it for a bit, because I thought I was looking for an actual fuse. But we've been playing a bunch of, we've been playing some more difficult puzzle games. Like we just played Monkey Island. And so in my head, I was like, I just, I need to look at the items in my inventory, read their descriptions. And I got really lucky. I just happened to connect them. And then, um, but yeah, targeting, having to target with the trapper was the hardest thing for me to figure out. Other than that boss, which I still don't know. I just stood on a weird... I stood where the screen transitioned, and I just cast from there, and it just happened to hit. <laughs> so, whatever. The Penny Fuse thing was something my parents had told me about since I was little, so when I saw the Penny Fuse walk, I instantly knew it to do. That's so nice of your parents to tell you. That's very cute. Games like this one are one of the main reasons why the GameCube's your favorite Nintendo console. The third-party stuff on GameCube is good, great. I, um... I honestly had no idea that the GameCube had any, like... Please don't bully me, had any really good games. <laughs> I know, I know. But I didn't have one. My friend had one and we'd play Melee on it occasionally. But I preferred the N64 Smash, so, like... You know... When Wind Waker came out, I had only one friend who liked it. Everybody else said it sucked. Um, I didn't know anybody who had Animal Crossing. I didn't hear about it until New Leaf came out. Um, <laughs> I had heard of Pikmin uh, because of the Wii Smash, because Olimar was added in that one, I think. And I thought it was cute, but I never played him myself. Uh... And I didn't know any other games. That was it. I agree that people who hate Wind Waker are wrong. I played it and I actually really ended up loving it. But when it came out, you gotta remember, and this happens with all new Zeldas except Breath of the Wild. Granted, people are turning on that now, which is fucking stupid. You had bad friends? It wasn't my friends. It was everyone there were only some people who played games when i was in high school if you played games if you played video games between 2003 and 2007 you were a nerd who played things that little kids played you see gaming didn't become cool until like 2008 and then all of a sudden suddenly nerd wasn't like a bad word I was there, I know, and I know a lot of you were there too, but you've got to remember, like, the GameCube, for most people my age, was like a little baby console for babies, and I got shit on for playing fucking- I would play my Pokemon games on my Game Boy in high school, and I would get shit on all the time for it. <laughs> 
Smash got you to Earthbound and Pikmin. Babies, it has a handle. <laughs> what happened in 2008? I don't know. I don't know. But things change. Suddenly, people... I wasn't invisible anymore, and dudes started to, like, try to hit on me, and I didn't know what to do about it. I was like, um... What? And I always thought they were joking and trying to, like, play pranks on me. Because when I was in high school... Asking a girl out in order to get her number to harass her was very common, and that's the only way anyone ever asked me out until college, when people were asking for my number because they wanted to play, hey, do you want to come to my dorm and play Dead Rising? And I'd be like, is this a trick? Are you going to, like, take a picture of me and spread it around the school? <laughs> Yeah. So. Times times have changed. It's a good thing, but it was a very bad transitionary period for me. Because I was suspicious of everybody who talked to me. It was like, so you like games? And I'd be like, so? What do you want? I didn't trust anybody. And to be fair, most of them were fucking with me, so. But yeah. Wind Waker, Wind Waker was like hated where I lived. Nobody played it except for one of my friends. Birthday shark. <laughs> uh, and everybody else just kept their N64. Everybody played um, Smash and uh, Perfect Dark and the GoldenEye game. I didn't play those, but it was basically like that stuff only. Mm. And Pokemon. Yeah. You were homeschooled and lucked out having parents who enjoyed gaming. Yeah, my, my dad played games with me when I was a, a wee baby. When I was little. My brother was a lot older than me, and so we would play games together all the time. You kicked my ass in Street Fighter. You never let me win. <laughs> well, I like the find the tri Triforce pieces, but I like tedious puzzles, so... Yeah, people complained because people thought cell, shell, cell shading was cartoonish. And at the time, remember, anything that kids liked, video games, cartoons, like if Adventure Time had come out then, you'd be so fucking bull. It would be like watching My Little Pony and being a brony. It would, that's how people would look at you. They'd be like, ugh, there's something wrong with you. The way that like people think that shit. Yeah. Me liking Sailor Moon? Huge no-no in high school. I found a couple kids and we made an anime club and we got fucking shit on by the cool kids. <laughs> because it was either you're watching a cartoon for babies or you're, or you're, you're a freak and you're watching hentai. And we were like, no, we're watching this new show called Inuyasha. You should check it out. Then again, one of the people in the club did wear a cape. So she wasn't helping anyone or herself. You know. Wind Waker, that's a baby's toy. Your high school experience sounds kind of sociopathic. So the high school I went to is kind of like, if you've ever seen Gilmore Girls, <laughs> it was like Chilton without the uniforms. It was super snooty. <sighs> Everybody was it was in like this rich part of Connecticut except I wasn't from there <laughs> I was from outside that area I graduated high school in 2007 but you have to remember I went to school in the middle of fucking nowhere in a snooty neighborhood and then when I went to college in New York people were like hey maybe games are actually cool Game, girls who play games don't exist. Oh my god, you play games? When did you start getting into them? And then it got even worse because it, I was into comics too. And people were like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Name things about Batman. Oh yeah? Name name things. What about who, who's Mario's mom? I don't know. That's not a thing. But people started doing that fucking trying to quiz me on shit I liked. That was obnoxious. That was a good like three years. You're not like the other girls. 
god, and guys were like obsessed with the Manic Pixie Dream Girl bullshit then. And I was this poor goth girl who was like, please, I just like Evanescence and prog metal, leave me alone. <laughs> who is Mario's mom? Clearly I'm a fake gamer, I can't answer that. Mama Mario. <laughs> Did I dye my hair? No. I've never dyed my hair. I couldn't- I've never been able to get somebody to do it. Redheaded curse. You have to find- you have to find somebody who doesn't suck. Because most people will be like, oh my god, I could never touch your hair. If it got ruined, you'd blame me. Mario's mom is Yoshi! <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> His parents are dead. Name one Superman. I can't. J Seinfeld. He's one Superman. <laughs> Mamario. <sighs> you could change some sad boy's life. I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. If a boy is sad and you date him, he's not going to get any happier. He'll still be sad, and now you're stuck with him. Just leave. Mama Mia. His name is, her name is Mia. <laughs> yeah, now you're sad too. Some hairstylists act like hair will never grow back. Dude, you would not believe. So I had a hairstylist. I wanted to dye my hair black in college because I was so fucking sick of people pointing out my hair and so I wanted to dye my hair jet black bad idea but whatever let me make my mistakes and <laughs> the hairdresser literally said to me if you do that your hair will never go back to the same color and I was like I could just grow it out and she was like no it'll damage your roots and your hair will never be red again who knows what color it'll turn green and I was like what it will <laughs> And I believe this stupid bitch because why would a hair, why, why would she lie? Pretty sure that doesn't happen. I had a, a one redheaded friend whose hair did turn green cause he had too much chlorine in his water. It didn't like really turn green. It had like green weird stuff in it. It's kind of gross. Anyway. People have said some fucking weird stuff to me in my life. Mostly about my dumb hair. Or my stupid freckles. Do you know how many people would pay to have naturally green hair? <laughs> Just easy could do Tara cosplay. Oh, that would actually be cool. I didn't know who Tara was at the time. I didn't know anything about Tara until two years ago. We played six for the first time. Anyway, we got on a very big tangent, didn't we? I think you'd rock black hair. Thank you. I, my hair was down to my butt then too and so I bought I actually bought a box of black hair dye and I brought it home and then my mom asked where my friend and I had been because she knew that I helped my friend dye her hair all the time like putting in highlights or doing a little bit of purple undertone she was like what is that and I was like nothing she's like is that hair dye for you why do you have some and I was like no reason and then she took it from me and she fucking hid it and then she threw it out so, and I didn't have money for it anymore. So everyone has blocked me at every, every turn to try to dye my goddamn hair. You had a hairdresser want to give you a faux hawk and got really upset when I said no. <laughs> the old lady that used to do my hair when I was in high school, she used to go, okay, here's, it's done. Because I would only get it trimmed every... every like eight to 12 months because it was super long and she would be like can i play with your hair with the rest of the time and i would just let her do whatever she wanted in our 30s we returned to our goth roots oh, we should you have natural blonde hair but it's been dark brown for like 10 years oh damn oh purple is good i wanted to i've always wanted to dye my hair but now i feel like i'm getting a lot of white hairs now you guys can't really see it because Stream cameras aren't very good. <laughs> but, I don't know, I like them. My hair's gonna turn white eventually, who cares? Do you know how many games you finished? Uh, I don't have a number, but if you type exclamation mark games, it'll give you a list to literally every game I finished. 
Um, all the ones that weren't finished have parentheses incomplete next to them. So while you can't just be like, oh, there's this many games, that's how many you finished. Yeah. But that's only the ones that I've streamed. But that is a full list of every game that I've streamed. Yeah, yeah. It's super weird how anime hair colors are just popular style now. I think that's kick-ass. I think people should be able to do whatever the hell they want with their bodies. You're turning 40 this week and the white hairs will follow soon after. I started getting white hairs when I was like 28. Actually, I got w the year of COVID, 2020, I, st I got like a ton of white hairs and now they're kind of slowing down. Would you play Celeste? Um, I don't think I would enjoy Celeste, so I don't have any plans to play it. I don't really like platformers. I've heard that it's good. I know everybody who plays it loves it. I know it's got like cool emotional depression whatever story, but I, I honestly don't think I would enjoy it, so not at the moment. <sighs> Ever played Outer Wilds? No, but it has been recommended to me. I don't play many new games. I mostly just play the old stuff that we play. Alright, so we got on a lot of tangents, but final thoughts on this game. Uh, Mutates, thank you for following. I thought it was kick-ass. I thought the characters were great. I really actually kind of enjoyed the controls, even though they were kind of weird. <gasps> That is a beautiful Sylveon emote. Hello, hello. Um, <laughs> and I still think that boss sucked. So, here's what we're gonna do. If you haven't been here when I beat a game before, we're gonna do something called floodgates. Basically, they open and then you can tell me stuff. However, I recognize that there are probably two other paths that this game can take depending on what uh, essence <laughs> what thingle um, you have pious grab at the beginning please don't tell me about those I'm probably going to play this game again I could totally foresee us in like two years or so replaying this game and just picking a different path on Halloween time um, so please avoid those I would like to play them myself uh, and learn about those that way uh, yeah Otherwise, um, if you'd like to tell me fun facts about the game, uh, if you would like to tell me things that I missed, <laughs> if you'd like to tell me like lore about different characters or something, as long as you avoid the other two gods or whatever, aliens, ancients, then uh, that's cool by me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, future replay. I think I will play this game again. Oh yeah, about, um, I, I'd find hearing about the insanities. I'll probably forget them by the time we play it again. <laughs> if I didn't see them myself. I like Sylveon. I like all the evolutions, but Vaporeon's my favorite, and I love Flareon too. You missed an insanity where it makes you think you deleted your save file. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that sucks. I'm glad that I missed that. The voice director for this game was the same as Metal Gear Solid, which is why a lot of the voice acting and actors are so good. Because they came from Metal Gear Solid, Silicon Knights would also remake Metal Gear Solid for GameCube two years later. Oh, cool! Yeah, I don't think I've ever played, um... I don't think I've ever played a Silicon Knights game. I'd never heard of them. At least I don't remember. Fun fact, you're not actually going crazy. This game has sanity effects, you jerk. <laughs> I put a four minute video of all the sanity effects that break the fourth wall in the Discord chat. Oh, that's cool. I, you guys should watch that, but I'm not going to because I'm definitely playing this game again. Yeah, I make tons of backup saves. You missed picking up the Manta Rock Rune. You missed the Manta Rock Rune, a fourth color to cast. It has weird effects. How? Like it's reveal invisible walls turns you invisible? It makes you, it's mana pool makes you have infinite stamina and regen all three stats? Where the fuck was that? How did I miss that? Why is that missable? Why is a rune missable? 
You press no, but it still deletes your files and then it comes back? That's awful. I was surprised to see you didn't have the man tracker and that defeats every other god. It's also hard to miss. Where was it? <laughs> I didn't see it at all. I was very thorough, I thought. Just like you, I got some disc grade errors and freaked out and had to reset my game. And then the fake sanity disc errors popped up and they looked exactly the same, but they were pranks and they scared me because I thought they were real. We had the disc grade error for real twice at the beginning of the game. And I'm fairly sure they were real because we didn't get like a... We had a, like a disc reading sound error. God damn it. They were a thing until they modded the Unity engine and decided to sue Riot for not providing support. What? Did you get the sanity effect where the game makes you think your GameCube has hard crashed to blue screen? <laughs> no. I had the CRT turn off and I had the old green volume bars for uh, up and down. It was in... Fake Indiana Jones's chapter? Where? This game was originally going to be an N64 game. It was? It was a heck of a revamp and an atypical process to bring it to porting to the GameCube. I wonder what it was going to look like then. Because I think this game looks fucking really good. So I can only imagine it was going to be very blocky. Yeah, it is missable because I didn't find it and I didn't need it. I honestly thought I was going to get it eventually, but I thought maybe they just wanted the UI to be symmetrical. You can you can kill trappers with ranged weapons or magical attacks. But I couldn't target them. Garbage. It's the wall that has three runes protecting it with a hole that says a dog can fit. <gasps> so, when I got the trapper thingy, I think it told me about it as I was getting attacked by something, so I had to, like, click through it. I, like, clicked through it quickly because I was like, fuck, and I didn't really read it. And that caused us problems the whole game because... I that nothing in the manual or the game other than that one moment tells you how to use the trapper. <laughs> so I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't go in that hole. I honestly thought that that was probably just a preview of something. Or that it unlocked something else. Because I didn't know I could use the trapper that way. And then I just like immediately accidentally left that area and we finished it. You have to backtrack and research a spell you wouldn't think to research? Yeah. There was no way I was going to find that then. You can actually miss getting the enchanted gladius. If you don't get it, then you need to manually enchant your weapon to beat Pius. I guess that's not that bad, but that does kind of suck. This is going to have... Oh, this was going to have a sequel on the Wii U which had plans for tablet sanity effects, like insects running across it. Oh, oh, stupid Wii U. Why did the Wii U have to be so poopy? That would have been great. Man, I bet having a DS game, oh, a DS game in this series, letting you have all your tools on the bottom and your spell things, if you could cast them in real time and just have them go, like not have to stand still. Oh my God, I would love that. Man, I love the DS. Oh, what if you had to draw them? I miss the DS. It'd probably look like how Resident Evil... Resident, Resident Evil is on the N64? Is that true, Rick? If you do another playthrough, keep your current save data and start a new game for a new game plus. It lets you skip the non-ancient specific cutscenes. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I'd want to skip them, but that's good to know. Yeah, I missed, I missed the information on the trapper. I even looked at the manual, and I was trying desperately to see, like, oh my god, is there, like, controls for the... And I went into the control scheme to try to see, like, what are the buttons? Cause, and I even tried to figure out target, and I my dumbass brain didn't think it's the same button as the girl. <laughs> 
Cat costume to 75%. Nice job. You can throw Enchanted Gladius to make pipe. You can throw? How do you throw it? Resident Evil 2 is on the N64. Is it? I haven't played any of them, but it sounds like it'd be very ugly. It's, you know. Oh, I see. You lock on from afar and attack and it eats him up. Damn it. Yeah, that sounds... Don't get me wrong. I had some games that I loved very much on the N64 when I was a kid. But it's not a pretty system. <laughs> It's, it's definitely blocky. There's a short mock-up of the Wii U version. Oh, I'd love to see that. It doesn't suck. The N64 doesn't suck. It's got some incredibly important games, like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> and Majora's Mask and Ocarina, I guess. Hey, OTP. Congrats on beating the game. I did have fun. Thank you. You love the final boss sequence? Yeah, it was pretty fucking cool. I still haven't played GoldenEye. My high school boyfriend would play GoldenEye and, um... <sighs> the other one. A lot. You love Conker, so they made everything like poop. <laughs> hmm. Aside from the internal mechanisms of its joystick, I do like the N64 controller. I like the controller. I think it's great because you can play it in, like, a bunch of different ways. Like, pretend this has a middle part. Like this, like this. You could do, you could do it however you wanted, which I thought was cool. Yeah. I literally just finished Kodokan. I really liked it. We played it before this one. The Nintendo Switch N64 controller is always sold out. All of the Switch retro controllers are always sold out. I want a SNES one so bad. I don't think they really exist. I think that they put up a page for them and just have it set to sold out. I've never seen one. They're not real. It's a fucking Nintendo scam. <laughs> so people leave them alone and don't ask them to make one. All controls are fine until the PlayStation came along and perfected controller design. I do really like the PlayStation's controller. I do also think that this kind of sucks. I know people were obsessed with it in Smash, but I find my thumbs are kind of little. So going down here without having to move your whole hand is like fucking impossible for me. You love moving your whole hand to get to the D-pad? Yeah! <laughs> They're too busy watching the Switch print money. Well, Nintendo's always going to do whatever the hell they want. That's just how they are. They're going to do something weird, and if people like it, cool. And if they don't, they don't. And they'll still make money, and they'll still sell it. Unless it's Luigi year. And then they won't. Hot take, N64 controller is really good. Developers trying to make use all the buttons at once made it impossible to use. I don't think I ever played any games where I needed to go over here. <laughs> this D-pad is, even for my little hands, too small. And you push all of them at once. I don't like it. I don't know of a single N64 game that requires every button. I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, sounds like there weren't that many floodgate things. Though I'm very bummed that I apparently missed an entire fucking rune. That's disappointing. I can picture that place where it was, too. I remember... It's, uh, I remember opening it all up, and then we clicked on it, and I was like, well, I don't know how to get in here. I'm sure they'll make me do it if it's important before we leave. And they didn't. And then I was getting attacked and I missed the stupid Trapper thing. God, what a disappointment. I mean, I, ch I always try to be super thorough, but... Man, I can't believe I missed a whole, a whole rune. I guess I was right then and the statues were kind of extra. 
to get that magical sword? I thought you would just get it no matter what, because it just dumped them all on me. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Infinity Issue. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I wish... I don't... I don't like missables. I just don't. I want a game to give me everything. <laughs> I get too paranoid, man. Because usually I just do one playthrough of a game and that's it. So if I miss something... That's it, I missed it. The original Xbox controller was pretty good too. No, incorrect. If you've got little hands, you can't use the original Xbox controller. It sucks. So if I play any Xbox games, they're all going to be on the goddamn 360 because my hands are terrible. The Duke? You buttholes. <laughs> yeah, the Duke. <laughs> I hate it, man. It's so... I don't even know if we have one in the house. But I remember I went to a friend's house in high school and he was like, play this. It was some... It might have been like a Star Fox game. So like, play this with me. It's like a space game. And I was like, what the fuck do you want me to do with this? <laughs> I can't press these buttons at the same time. Did you see the flashes Alex saw after you beat Pius? That's the earth after insert ancient here takes over each pick. Yes. Yeah. I th honestly thought that that was her plan. I thought she, she was projecting into my mind like, thanks. I'm going to send a bunch of green zombies to eat everyone now. <laughs> An official mini duke exists? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It's so good. Star Fox wouldn't have been on the Xbox? I don't know what it was. It was just some space racing game with like a little ship. It was really hard to control though. It was really like drifty. But yeah, I couldn't do it because the controller was weird. <sighs> anyway. That's it. I hope you like my playthrough. We did it. We have one more thing to do before I wrap up today. Um, and you all know what it is. I'm going to press a button. I just want to make sure it's not going to like show me anything. Silicon Knights, huh? Good job, Dolby. You did good surround sound. There's a credits option here now. That might not have been there before. All right, anyway. Boop. Uh, I'm really glad you were all here for this. I had a really good time. It was way, way, way less scary than I was expecting it to be. So thank you. Um, and if you were only here for Eternal Darkness, that's totally kick-ass. Uh, before you go, let me just say thank you uh, for joining me on my first playthrough. I'm totally going to play it again, probably in two, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to promise anything. I'm probably going to play it again in a couple years um, as a different, against a different guy. <laughs> but for now, it may be the last full week of October. But that doesn't mean there isn't enough time to play a game. So, do you want to see the new wheel? <laughs> I hope so. Yes? <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, also, I owe you guys some notes. Um, I have not uploaded the Kodelka notes yet, so hopefully tonight or tomorrow, I will be uploading the doodles from Kodelka and Eternal Darkness to the Discord. So if you're a sub, you'll be able to check that out. Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you the wheel. I gotta pull up some things. I have some of it ready because I had a feeling we were gonna get here today, but uh, let's see. I have to tell everybody. I gotta, I gotta do the thing. Now, obviously, <laughs> There's only like 40 minutes left in the current stream. <laughs> um, so we will not be starting whatever the game is today, but we will tomorrow. So if you 
do miss this, if you're like watching this in the future, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. I'm just tweeting really bit, really bit, really quick. This might be the last wheel spin of the year, um, but I have some shorter games on here, so it's possible we'll play like one to two more games. We'll see. There, I did my duty. I did a, a tweet. <laughs> All right, so. All right, it looks right. Here you go. Why is the music not playing? I turned it on. There we go. Is it Resident Evil 2 in the N64? No, it's not. Uh, Wamba, thank you again for the beats. I have to draw something? Draw Mantarok eating cake. Okay, I can do that. So before we start, I'm gonna draw this. You can peep at the wheel and I'll explain which what games these are and what systems they're on. Hey, Carco Links. Discord told me it was wheel time. It is wheel time. Hold on, I gotta draw a guy real quick. Oh, this is not how dimensions work. That's okay. Okay, this is Mansrock eating cake. That's the word protect. This is it. I hope you like it. Was this total playtime? Uh, a little over 20 hours, I believe. <sighs> wheel time. Hello, everyone. Welcome in if you're just joining now. It's wheel time. Stupid ads started and I couldn't make them go away, so. Did Rain ever get sheared? Yeah, he. Uh, I shaved his head the night after we, we got it. Sorry for the last minute doodle. Do not apologize. You're good. He'd fit right in with your alien pals from Star Control. I know. A lot of things in this would do it. Oh, I'll show you. Sorry. Oh, stupid fucking ads. I snoozed them earlier, so here. I couldn't do it again. It keeps breaking anyway. Like, I'll do it and it won't work. Man shark eating a cake. Ray joining the balds. He's the opposite of balds. Balds? Anyway. Hello, welcome to wheel number... I didn't write it down. Wheel number five? Of the... Wheel number five of the whatever. Yeah, I believe this is five. Yes. So. As you can see. Your choices are... Resident Evil, the original one, for PlayStation in the big box. I've shown you the big box many times. Uh, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father, the first one. I'll be playing the one on Steam, on DOSBox. Uh, <laughs> the other one, that one's... Oh, hi, Octavia. It's super ghouls and ghosts. <laughs> but it doesn't fit. It's not so good. It's not a... a you is on my desk now on my notes that's not a you is it possible for us to work together that's a good question um so that's super cool thing ghosts which is the snes one obviously it's got the word super in it um after that is 
Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES. Uh, and then the seventh guest, I would be playing the Steam version <laughs> because I don't have an old computer. And then finally, Shadowgate, that's the NES version of Shadowgate. So, hopefully that explanation was a good enough. Um, now we've got some, uh, some wheeling. Wheeling and dealing. And remember, we're gonna be playing this tomorrow, so we have plenty of time to fuck around with this. S -G -N -G. Thank you, Astadia. <laughs> Partha, no. Um, I know we're all anti-emulator, but we could just emulate Super Ghost and Ghost just to mod it to be called <laughs> No. No. Anyway. All right. Clearly, it's almost the end. Oh, I should change the. I didn't do it earlier. That would have made my life a lot easier if my brain worked. Bop, 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 bop. Change category to this. Womp. There. I'm good. Now people can find it. So, this is your wheel. Resident Evil, Gabriel Knight, Super Goals and Ghosts, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, seventh guest and Shadowgate. Skug. Sk Ooh, it sounds gross. Skug. Oh, I really want to take this heart rate monitor off. It's so itchy. It's like a training bra. Will you give me childhood trauma, classic horror, or classic difficulty challenge horror? That's a good question. Please stop stepping on the GameCube. I love you, but it's not for steps. What? No, 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 no. Love you. If Jekyll and Hyde is what I think it is, it may be a horror game for a whole other reason. I think it is the version that you're thinking of. Why oh, you look so grumpy? Here, go on. No lap. <sighs> okay. I think I'm ready. So here's how this is gonna work. This is our fifth one, but if you're, you know, not used to it yet, here's how this goes. First, five lucky, very fast people are going to be able to add more. There, that looks better. More chances to one of these games each. Only five. Check your channel points. There is a reward in there called Stack the Deck. I'm going to unpause that, and the first five people are going to be able to hit enter and then probably be kicked. Uh, it costs quite a few channel points, so if you got some left, now might be your chance. You can only add a game that is only on the wheel. Please, please, please do that. Don't do a joke, <laughs> because that'll be a pain. Diddler has all my points. Why does Diddler have your points? Tylo, stop sharing your points. Diddler has a lot of people's points. <laughs> what have y'all been doing? Anyway, so type that in now. You have to type it in, and I'm going to press the button. I've given you so much time. Right now. Oh, interesting. Slower this time. Last time was like, they're gone. There was actually time. Oh, no. Um, okay, so it looks like Captain Ultros has added Resident Evil, Cashel has added Resident Evil, Schwarzkopf has added Resident Evil. Astral Nova has added Resident Evil. <laughs> uh, and then Faye, 
the only one who isn't added another O for super goals and goes. Never mind. Should I make Resident Evil a different color? Just so we can be sure that it's not like the others. This makes it hard to see the arrows. No stop stalling. Shut up, Rain! <laughs> Orange for Halloween. I don't know. Resident Evil's like red and black logo, right? Okay. That's a lot of... It's like half the fucking wheel. I hate you guys. I mean, you guys are great. Alright. I'm gonna set a secret timer. And during that secret timer, you'll be able to spin the wheel as much as you want with channel points. I think it only costs 5,000. It's very cheap. But who knows if you have any left. Now keep in mind, depending on what game we get, it might not be the last wheel. So you can either, yeah, as Estrella Nova is saying, you can either work together or be chaotic. As always, when the timer goes off, the redemptions pause, we do whatever is left in there, and then we're done. Yes, if you if, blah, blah, blah. if you would like to check out the music, exclamation mark music will link you to Louis Zong's website. He's a very lovely musician and very kindly allows <laughs> streamers to play his music, which is great because no one else on earth does. Working together is against the spirit of the season. Let's fucking do this. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> El Simi is the very first spin to my demise. I'm gonna cry. Oh, what a surprise. It's not Resident Evil. Cesare Rose, here you go. That was all of your points? Dude, that's so many. Oh, great. Black Labin, please remove the red horrible thing. Ah, oh, shit, here we go again. Hey, I like that side. Here you go, Cashel. Boots? This is a lot in the queue. What the fuck? Super Goobles and Goobles. I think we're gonna play that. Cesario Rose, here's yours. Why do you have so many in here? <laughs> wow, only that side, huh? Here you go, X Man. The Salentin Tears. I think no matter what, it will. Wow, Jekyll and Hyde again. Here you go, Cesario Rose. I want you guys to know I have no way of manipulating this. Faye, here you go. You're at 466 points. Damn. Zero, two, here you go. No, it's been down, no. <laughs> There's so many spins in there, dude. Uh, Sauron I, here you go. Sauron likes. Probably Resident Evil. Nope, Gabriel Knight, that's the one I want to play. Here you go, Cesario Rose, another spin for you. I think that might be your final spin. Sagug. Uh, Caterpillar, here you go. What's that? More spins? Sans, here you go. Flag carrier, this is for you. Oh my god. Infinity issue? Guys, it's, it's sticking on the right side a lot. Oh my god, no! 
Uh, Ryu Silva, here you go. Yeah, just, just throw them all in there. Fuck it up. Oh, Blue Star. Final Night, here you go. Final Night would never make me play Resident Evil. Bitch, traitor. Uh, Sauron, here you go. I'm gonna get you for that. No, we're on the wrong side. Mr. Fribs? Other side of the wheel. Other side. <laughs> yes, much better. Caterpillar. Hey, yeah. No! <laughs> Neptune meows. Here. Do you hear that? That's the timer. Headed at 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Why is it in the red? Okay. Did I just do Mr. Fripps? <laughs> Who did I just say? I don't know if I click. I always click them before I do it. I just want to make sure. Yes, this is correct. I did Neptune. Okay, good. Mr. Fribs. I didn't miss any. A prediction now? God damn it, Rain. <sighs> Watery Star. Koizumi. 16 left. Star on I. Two years in a row. Will he do me? I don't like that he's on there. Oh. Zero two. Please remove the red part of the wheel. We know who to blame or thank now. Why couldn't you have stopped earlier? Dad! <laughs> my dad. This was bins for my dad. Dad! Why? Okay, Fidel. Resident Evil. God damn it. Thank you for resubbing Red Davidson. Welcome back. Oh, that's not bad. Cater Pillar. I think this is your last one. Sauron. Nova, this is your last spin. I wonder what it'll land on. I knew it. That's all you want. Uh, El Simi. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's landed on seventh guest once. Now that we've said that. Uh, Clob Noise. Dad again. Thank you, Dad. Austin DM. Five left after this. Boots, here's yours. Sauron, here's your last one. Three more. Here you go, Weasel. Amanda, this is yours. Last spin. My husband. This is it.
You win. You win fair and square. The curse is broken. Year three. This is for you, Chet! Sh shut up! Please do not give him attention. <clears throat> Hello. It's, it's dusty. It's been in that box all month. It's taken three years. I'm gonna play Resident Evil. The original Resident Evil. The first and only Resident Evil. <laughs> the only Resident Evil that was ever made. On the back it says you're dead scared, face your fear. I can't believe it's finally happening. I almost avoided this for another year, you know. And so ends a legacy, one of Resident Evil never being picked. May it rest in legend. Saku salute. <sighs> Resident. Okay. A deal's a deal. Evil. <laughs> a deal's a deal. Evil. If he hadn't done that, we would have been playing like Shadowgate or something. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. <sighs> I can't fucking believe it. I was so sure. I was so sure it wasn't gonna land on it. If one less of you had betrayed me. God damn it, this game better not be scary. All right, chaos, chaos did it. Thank you all for your points. Thank you for voting. Smell of Ant Weasel. <laughs> what does that mean? Um. Oh my God. All right, Diddler. Thank you so much for gifting another ten subs. <laughs> to Fuso, yeah, something eels. <laughs> to know what? Big Broso, Atticus, Baxter, Cook. Two Candela, Dean Bread, Kinda Here, and Creamy Baloney. Ooh, Creamy Baloney. I don't want that. Put that away. Tresident Frizzle. <laughs> oh, I'm stretching my screen so I can see. I don't need it to be over on the side. I heard Gooey Gus is in Resident Evil. You fucking who? My sides are still recovering from hearing Rain's pop if. If Gooey Gus is in that game, I'm not playing it. I don't know how this could happen. <laughs> Resin on Weevil. <laughs> Anonymous Ghost, thank you for gifting a sub to 92 frames per second. It's very nice of you. I am calm and everything is fine. And I am breathing normally and my heart rate is not crazy. We're playing Resident Evil tomorrow. I have four days to beat it. <laughs> the nice thing about the Resident Evil series is that there's like a million of them, so there's always the next one if this one was too scary, Kappa. Pheasant Bevel. <laughs> Pray in on Weevil. deserve this. Judicious Dragon, thank you for gifting five subs to shooting McGuns while Draubert tear. Hesitant Letha. The Zero to K. President Meevil. Josh Lewis of Seven and Megas in Silence. Thank you. I think I went to high school with that guy. Awesome, thank you for your bits. Red Davidson, thank you for your 1,100 Rain, bits. protect that gamete all costs. I don't want the disc to have any mysterious circumstances happen to it to be evil. What are you talking about? Um, Inhabitant sinful. God damn it. Just <laughs> I'm sure this is a perfectly nice game about evil Knievel's residence. Resident Weevil. Even open this game. 
you will finally pay for your besmirching of Resident Evil. Um, guys, I have bad news. It, it doesn't open. There's no, um... There's no scene. It's... I guess I can't play it. I legitimately don't... I don't know how to Halloween is where I will always envision rain mouthing I'm sorry, I love you, just before giving Parkal a sweet chin music. <laughs> this whole time it's just been an empty box. Oh, fucking video. I know those boots. Thank you, boots. I haven't gotten there yet, but thank you. Javis Blaze, thank you for the beads. Final Night, thank you for the beads. Scoops McGee, thank you for gifting five Rent subs. Upheaval. Two, three blades, and I'm I 33. Crazy JRPG, Color Jewel. Color Jewel? Uh, and Selfless Scoundrel. Thank you, Scoops. Oops, Super Goals and Ghosts was in the case. <laughs> Looks like we're playing that chat now. <laughs> Way too late. Uh, Wombat, thank you for the beads. Eddie, thank you for the beats. Um, Fluffs471, thank you for subbing for 13 months. Welcome back. <laughs> Broken Quest, thank you for the beats. Renji, thank you for the thousand beats. I don't know why she can't read the word pop off. Awesome, thank you for the many pun beats. Puns illegal. Have to leave all. <sighs> We're about to beat our last hype train record. Keep it up in the next 45 seconds to get... What? It doesn't say anything. Whatever. Cashel, thank you for the beat search. Thank you for the beats. Many of you did many, many beat jokes. They're very good. Thank you. <laughs> and don't worry, Caracol Links. Nothing will happen to this game, probably. Hessian, thank you for more beats. Amanda, thank you for beats. It might be empty. I don't think it is. All right, I caught up. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Wombat. Probably won't be as bad as you think. Hey, Rain, how do I open the game? It's like lifted here, but I feel like that's not correct. Looks like it's broken. Res. Res, <laughs> thank you, Final Night. How do you open it? Oh, I got it. Well, this was pulled up, so I was confused. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is in here. Razo is evil. That's true. That was a good one. Thanks, Meldine. The first puzzle is opening it. <laughs> childproof evil. <laughs> it is childproof. God, I couldn't open the childproof lock. Not bad. It's pretty clean. There's a spooky room with blood all over it on the back. It's actually here. Thank you, Schwarzkopf. All right, the curse is broken. Resident Carcaville. <laughs> Thank you, Wombat. You broke the curse. I have to play it. So correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that the actual respace that got spun? It didn't matter what was added. Decadent Weevil. It is. It is the original. That's not one. how it works, Fractal. It's true, that's not how it works. <laughs> because the spins would have been different because of the wheel shape. Carcala. It looks like Octavia scratched the game disc. Can't play it now. Rain? Well, why is it covered in cat food? Caracala. I don't know, Octavia. Meow. Thank you, Caracolings. Thank you, Fractal and Surge and Broken Quest. 
What's even better, the Half-Life curse is almost broken. So yeah, go vote in that poll. Uh, I'm gonna go. I have to set this game up, which means I have to unplug the GameCube and plug in the PlayStation. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I can't, I'm fucking speechless, I don't know. I legitimately thought we were never gonna play this game. Why does the man on the cover look so unhinged? I don't even think this is the man you play. This is what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. This is gonna be us. So I hope you're fucking happy. He's, I don't wanna be this man. This is your fault. This is you. OMG, did it win, did it win, did it win? Yeah. Yeah, I did Lee. Why are we yelling? <laughs>